<laughs> and if you're going to be in the world, make sure you join the guest faction, please. Mm -hmm. yeah, will do, will do. I Just a heads join, up, Big but... Bear. this is R8. I got about 15 minutes before I got to leave and go pick up my family. No worries, mate. Ah, there's a link to the Steam profile there. That's handy. I'm going to be going through Last the matches step. in order of appearance. Uh, um, at, uh, will your teammates be around all right? Um, uh, I don't know. Zero's here, I believe. Probably wise. Zero and Squishy. No, fair enough. I'll, um, yeah. And Squishy. Yeah, if you've got anything to say, say it now in that case, mate, because, uh, um, yeah, you guys like the, the last fight, and I'm going to be going through it in order because it's the only way I can keep any semblance of sanity. And we're trying to keep each round of interviews down to 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the Grot will be basically throwing a clock at me every 15 minutes. Interview or debrief? <laughs> I might be back then. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All right, you guys have a good one then. I'm going to leave now and I might be back for the end. All right. All right. Enjoy. Have a good one. All right. Oh, that's nice right. of him. Everybody reacts Yeah, like, it'll way. work out. You just need some scripted questions. Uh, like, I'll ask everyone a standard set, and then some people can just elaborate on things. 15 minutes should be fine. Some will go quicker than others. Yeah. Zero, look at the uh, tournament general. Yeah, yeah, I saw, I saw it. And that deserves a heart. I honestly, the whole thing that's bothered me the most tonight was the, all the technical problems that were, that was was had. Missile, was missiles being before. special, uh, um, in various manners. Um, you couldn't see them in the first fight. Yep, it was just people. They were just being uh, ships were deleting themselves. Yeah, well, what? Very... I'm not sure whether that was the missiles that were doing that, or whether the Mac was shooting itself, or I think he lost most of the Mac wouldn't shoot itself. Trust me. Yeah, it would definitely not. It's almost like he should test this before he starts the stream. Mm. <laughs> no, that's that's too much. <laughs> Friend, invite away. Okie dokie. Better love story than Twilight says so R8. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just watching the tournament general chat right now. That was really satisfying. What a perfect ending. Alright, here they come. Oh my god, Invisible Mans. That's whatever. Can I mute him here? Androth, I got too much cooties. You got cooties? Hey, Why in day life. Uh, <laughs> what were you? Excellent. I understand that yeah. Ian, Ian. I understand that you're another streamer. Um, it's going to be streaming some Starcore content. Um, yeah, I drop you a PM on the the shiny new Discord. Uh, but yeah, anytime you want to organize something, man, just feel free to drop me a PM. And uh, yeah, you're more than welcome to join the voice chat and get in on this as well. More the merrier. Looks like Sock is wrapping up his stream. Yeah. Yeah, he, he, five minutes. yeah, he usually usually takes, you know, five, ten minutes at the end. It's all good. It takes me a little while to get up and running anyway. Well, well, we're probably going to be having a lot more tournaments pop up. I assume from your name, Ian, that you stream on D-Live. Um, it's a platform I did look at. Um... Well, I yeah. think Ian is the one who has the uh, X-Wing Canada server. Ah, oh, fair enough. Uh, yes, indeed, John. Yeah, he's the one who uh, was hosting the X-Wing Canada and London server. Okay, you don't stream on D-Live. Right, fair enough, just a, just a coincidence. 
Uh, it's my own PC, John. So um, join via Steam. Um, my profile is linked in my Discord. It's linked in um, my About section of Twitch. Um, linked in all the places. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, fair enough. What is DLive? It's a streaming platform that's based around cryptocurrency. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate, Ian. It was a, <laughs> yeah, it's, it is an unfortunate combination, yeah. Ah, there is more than one Ian. It's WS. Let's have a look at that. So yeah, man. If you uh, if you stream on Twitch or YouTube or wherever you stream, feel free to drop a link in into my chat now um, for your channel. Because uh, yeah, I'm more than happy to work along with it. You know, work alongside any other people that want to do Starcore streaming stuff. Absolutely. Uh, where is that? Uh, I have a, I have a, I don't know if I should pull this on Twisted because he just lost his match today. But <laughs> I was gonna edit. What's up, guys? Uh, you know that uh, thing that people post to like Captain Picard? <laughs> like, mm -hmm. Yeah. Gonna edit that to be like the laser eyes, like all guns fire, <laughs> and then the thing exploding. Yeah, that was a surprise, but a welcome one. Won me some clangers. Oh yeah, I'm sad. I, I was Wait, sweating and I wasn't involved in that because I put everything on Rio. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a good faith bet on my part. I was like, eh, it's Rio, man. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. This is my I ship. I, bet on me. I don't think I'll bet on him next time. No worries. Who's uh? Yep, we'll see if we say yeah. Are you muted or something? No, no, you're not muted. Uh, just waiting on... Uh, oh, basically, waiting on the raid Zoc. before... Uh, yeah, waiting on the Zoc gotcha. raid before commencing. Yeah. Gotcha. Yep, right now he's going through the credits. There's a lot of them. Yeah, man. It's a, it was a good night. It was, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, it always is. <laughs> I wish there was fewer technical yeah. issues tonight. It's the only, I'd say, that's the only thing that was a like scheduling was pretty much on, and you know uh, there was a, a nice lack of drama. Um, but yeah, well, the the technical issues. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be space engineers without it, but it, it wouldn't be space engineers without technical issues. No, this is true. Eh, yeah, definitely. I did get the fight. I guess I should be in here. It's just a real bummer because all of these bugs that we're having are all like brand new and have come out of nowhere. Like oh, the yeah. last three test tournaments had almost zero issues. Yeah. My, my, my suspicion is it's to do with the bot pasting in the ships. Um, yeah, and so yeah, there's, there's, I, I think right. ownership is has got something to do with it because, like, yeah. if you, if you isolate all of the new things, like the first issue we had was relative speed mod, and that was due mm -hmm. to a, a recent update, mm -hmm. and then um, and then yeah, nice the level. the bot was the only other one of the only other variations because very little changed between test tournament seven and the grand tournament. Mm. But again, yeah. the the bot is growing every single day like math is working on all this stuff all the time oh i've no doubt yeah and it's just like yeah so where impressive. where 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 we end up is is the goal is yeah. like it's just having a fully automated system where we can come on and just design ships whack them into a team elo system set up and the whole thing's automated it'll probably have its own client mm -hmm. by the time we're done with it all thank you very much Zoc. hello everybody <laughs> welcome welcome we're in voice chat in Zox Discord. Feel free to dive in. Please join us. Friend invites in so I can join you. Just grow up. Gotta join via Steam. Via Steam. 
Welcome, Raiders. Greetings. Thank you for joining the host StarCore tournament interview. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really hyped for this. I'm really hyping we get some uh, interesting interviews here. Cheers for the sub, Do you know how many, you know how many uh, teams how do we up? have here? You know, how many teams do we have? Right. I see I see fifth. I see TC. Uh, We've got I'm Auto McD. I was a sub. Oh, you were a yeah, sub. Oh, yeah, TC was, yeah. Hey. we got Con here. we got... we got ANL. ANL represent. Um, yep. On. We're on the way. Well, there we go. If anyone's yeah. just coming over then from big old bear, uh, if anyone's coming over from my stream and you know hearing us chat, yeah, definitely indeed. jump in the Discord. Jump in the Discord and get involved because I'm sure big old bear. I, I want to be cool to get as many interviews as possible from each of the rounds. Mm -hmm. That's half short time, half debrief, half debrief. Definitely, it's always good to have. Greetings, Otto. This is so cool. Big old bear. Just before, big, just before I dash, I, actually, I don't think I can stay long tonight, unfortunately. But I want to ask you, big old bear. I've got a quick question for you, big old. How are you feeling about Con? <laughs> One word. Mate. Absolutely terrified. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. The Con and the PLS rounds were, were brutal. They were really brutal. Looking forward to it. All right, there we go. <laughs> Can't hide the hood and also wave at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I'm terrified of Con. I'm not going to lie. Absolutely terrified. I, I I hope that we can knock one or two of them out. That's, that's uh, realistically. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's get this let's get this kicked off with uh, some some comments from some observers, shall we say, during the during the matches tonight. The uh, <clears throat> it all went rather well apart from technical problems. <laughs> Isn't that always the case with space? Y it, well, I mean, yes, yes, it is. Megal, you've got some requests to accept. On it, mate. So yeah, um, let's talk missiles, shall we? <laughs> um, so in, in in the first match, uh, were they just wrong on sock screen and they were working, or were they just wrong? So, so here's the uh, they were definitely not showing that well for yeah for us as well. I have a suspicion that um, it's kind of some of what happened. Mm -hmm. I can tell you pretty obviously from lots of PvP in this game and just weapon core in general, those missiles were hitting and those holes that were coming out of that ship were due to those missiles. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. But it was a it was a client side lag due to so many ships being active at the same time. And so many missiles happened to be tracked where on your client side it wouldn't show you what those missiles are doing, but on the server side it's kind of It was actually missiles. doing them, okay. The same um, thing happens when you fire max. Sometimes you won't see the round come out. You won't see the damage that happens of it. But in the server, it's still calculating that hole. I've seen that a lot. And then, so the next the next point about missiles is something that we saw again tonight, which was something that we were played with um, on, on the uh, last weekend, which was point defense, shooting down your own team's missiles. Um, oh, right. Have we gotten to the bottom of that? Do we know what's causing this problem yet? Mm, the detective do, work. Do, do we, do we, that, uh, I suspect uh, it's to do PLB. with ownership. Um, I'm going to have a good look it, into it. It seems like something to do with uh, Bot again. I've, I've sent Math a message about it, asking if he wants to test it now that we've got um, Wiseman's server is temporarily yeah. back on StarCore, trying to fix um, my issues this evening. Yep. I think we need to we need Sounds to like a... we need to test it with a load in, um, and and then you know with a some sort of missile ship, and see if it see if it they track. Uh, both we needs to be checked for both shoot on off and also click to fire, um, and we need to do the same test with somebody actually taking ownership, and seeing what happens there as well, and also check whether or not their target neutrals is on or off for the PMWs. 
uh, not for the PMW, for the uh, point defense. Sounds it's, like uh, a rough problem to have, man. Yeah, I suspect the I suspect the issue is that the PD is targeting neutrals and. Due to ownership, those missiles are counted as neutral. Um, it's a guess, but it's a good starting point. So, Big O, did you have any uh, questions you want to ask me? Because actually, I say uh, I'm just checking. I, I will have to dash off here soon, but I just wanted to say if there's anything anything big you wanted to ask before we can dash up before um, I dash off today. Not really, mate. The uh, the Starcore, the official Starcore server is uh, coming along, from what I understand, and will be popping up officially next week. Is that correct? Tomorrow. We'll, we'll basically, we'll finish the stream tomorrow. Just because from the bot point of view, you know, like it just makes the, the board yeah. a bot. Yeah, we yeah. want to make sure we don't want to have we don't want to have the transition mid tournament. It is mid tournament, but because we have like two weeks, it shouldn't be a problem to like make sure there's no issues and stuff after tomorrow night. We have some time to make sure everything's okay. So yeah, we'll we'll transition over. Like we'll basically have some kind of party. We'll basically we'll, we'll do the final match, and then I'll be like, hey guys, time to move over, and I'll I'll basically lock it on stream, and people can spam for the last time <laughs> in the in the, the the old general chat, and then we'll uh, lock it up. Hmm. Uh, if you don't mind, I'd like to say something too. I'd like to thank Zoc for uh, actually hosting these tournaments. And actually, you're the reason I'm even participating in these tournaments. Because uh, I, I originally started watching your stream when my brother was participating, Mother Trucking Dragons. He was in Team Deviant at the time. Oh, yeah, I remember. And, yeah, okay. Yeah, and I was I was watching them play, and I was like, oh, wow, this is really cool. Yeah, was, ever since then, uh, he helped me get into a team. I got into 50 Humanity. Wiseman's been really great in teaching me how to play since then. And Ed, yeah, this is fantastic. I just wanted to thank you for that. No problem, man. That's awesome to hear. That's that's that's. I love hearing stories like that. It's great. Awesome, awesome. All right. Um. Well, honestly, Zoc, I don't. I don't think I've got any real questions for you tonight. If I'm honest, mate. Uh, it's always lovely having you well, that's here. That's good. That's um, fine. <laughs> well, I'm definitely. I'm just going to say that I'm really hyped for July Core because I haven't seen all the information. I've seen some screenshots. I've seen a couple of the mods that are included. So. Definitely wishing you best of luck for that next week. Oh um, yeah, it's going to uh, be a laugh. Um, yeah, a, a little, a little skirmish on the side, you know. And we'll, we'll get the, we'll get the guys as well to. I mean, you, you have in the new Starcore Discord, you have permission to post in the content. So definitely, yeah. we'll get the guys to. Um, definitely get the guys to post that you're you know, going live and stuff and everything, and try and get as many people over there as possible. Yeah, we sort, watch even, yeah, you know? we sorted all that situation out. There's a streamer role now, and I, I would encourage anybody that wants to stream any content related to Stark, or even if, whether it's you, you building your ships for your teams, or uh, whether you're testing weapons, or what have you, um, when you do get into the new Stark or Discord, apply for the streamer role, um, and then you'll be able to post in, in the uh, content sections for that. More the merrier. That's what I say. Great guys, we'll have a great night, and uh, I'll have to try and flick back. I'm really, I'll be really curious. I have to flick back over some of the uh, the interviews, either tomorrow or like, on Monday and stuff, and see what you guys were discussing. And uh, I'll be I'm really, really curious to hear your perspectives. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Absolutely. Right. Let's uh, let's have a look at that schedule. Right. And... Thanks again, Zoc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zoc. Always a pleasure, uh, thank mate. You. Right then, let's uh, have a look at the schedule. So, uh, the first, oh, hang on, the first match uh, was uh, CYB versus TFI. Do we have anybody from those teams? Or have they all gone to bed? Chase, not the TFI. They're all gone. I think they're all gone I to bed. The TFI, um. Huh? Let's have a look. That match was such. That seems fun to happen a lot watch. with the first couple matches. Yeah. Yeah. Is Rio is around? Give me a sec. I'll um. I'll ping him. Uh, he he was chatting one? just towards the end of our, the end of our match. We've got JM here. JM defuse from um. The... I'm fairly certain I heard some different tags than uh, ANL. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah it was um, CYB versus TF. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong blooming thing. Here we go. Never You're mind. looking at the wrong day. I yeah. am indeed looking at the wrong bloody day. It's because I was panicking about my fight tomorrow. Um... <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. It'll be fine. Don't worry. It'll be fine. Let me find the right thing. Let me find the right thing. Schedule for first schedule GLS. for day three. There we go. Oh, Thank you. Yes. Yeah, professional streamer here, folks. Professional streamer. Uh, cheers for the sub ghost. Much appreciated, mate. So yeah, ANL versus Rio. Uh, yeah. Um, it's an interesting fight, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, that was one of the best fights to watch. Oh my god. <laughs> Got some clangers, some pappy. It was yeah. so close at the end. The... Yeah, if you if anybody's actually in, you come up, up and have a seat. And uh yeah. <laughs> yeah, whenever he arrives. Is that the one with the cube? <laughs> Hello yeah. everyone. Hello. Dude, that, Jim. that shot was the best thing I've ever seen in this yep. game. Just that perfect end point. He's currently unavailable. It's like, like, I'll be honest with you, I was scared of that cube because we took half of our team, half of our capability, and it fought that cube. And that, yeah, we did some damage to that cube, but that cube absolutely destroys. It does a lot of damage. Right I mean, I mean, I mean ble yeah. bless you folks, though, for splitting that cube at the end, but uh, you didn't ask for yourselves. <laughs> on a fair side, that was not on purpose. Oh, it wasn't. It like, wasn't. I thought. I thought you were like. Well, it we wasn't just, on purpose. No. Honestly, honestly like, from, from a viewer's perspective, it looked failure. like it looked. It looked. It looked like. Oh well, we've got the match in the bag now. We've done enough damage. Let's split yeah. and show off. <laughs> right. That's what it looked like. Yeah. Are you telling me that wasn't actually deliberate then? No, that was not deliberate, and you would not believe the luck that it would that that shot took from uh, Rio to pull off. <laughs> like, it looked like they're you guys were using explosive bolts to separate <laughs> well, i think there's actually missiles. not at all actually um no I, I guess i can give a quick rundown of kind of what happened out there yeah please do um so basically like all of you saw we pretty much had the uh we pretty much had the match in the bag just shooting mm -hmm. our missiles mm -hmm. and keeping our shields up I noticed that uh, missiles were coming in around our shields that we had shunted everything to the front. And that's when something went horribly wrong. I'm not entirely sure there, but our shield vanished. Um, probably a lucky missile hit or some stuff like that. And then Rio hits us directly in our weak spot with all four max or whatever max he had left. I think what dropped your shield honestly was a max shot that was in the area where you weren't shunted. Again, it doesn't quite make sense as the shield should have been up by the time they just kind uh, of I don't... And vanished on us. Yeah, weird. from what I saw looking at it, I don't think he had any max left by the time he came in and rammed your ship. No, uh, just, I, I think it was missing... the Grimlock. He had one. No, I don't think he had one left. I don't think Exos mm. even max. I'm fairly certain I heard max when we split. I'm watching the replay now. Well, if, yeah. you, if you heard Max, then yes, then he had a Max. Yeah, yeah. I'm fairly certain that I heard Max. XOC, like... <sighs> XOC couldn't see the Max. They weren't loaded in, so mm. he had a body error on it. I've had that before. Yep. Mm. So, interesting bit of news. I uh, just had a, uh, a, a message from uh, Twisted. Um, so, so the, if, if my team and me are okay with a rematch, am I good to stream it? Uh, yes. Yes, I am. I'm happy to. Obviously, it won't count for the tournament. Um, I was but, about to say, um, we'd love to. to have a rematch, all things considered. Um, yeah, I'm absolutely happy to. Should, um, should we pencil, can we pencil it in for, say, Wednesday? Wednesday, Wednesday. Uh, depends on when. Fair enough. Um, I'm available from usually about 11 p.m. UK time. Um, I can pretty much guarantee availability from that time. So, um, well, I can. I can have your certainly... secretary. <laughs> yes, I'll have, I'll have my secretary, secretary contact, contact your secretary. secretary. Yes, yes. <laughs> surely, surely I can get the team together for that one. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. But yeah, I did. I did like the ball cube. I have to say, I did like it. Um, uh, thanks a lot. It was, 
was yeah, very I did. I like there was, there was talk. Um, so I was in voice chat with my team and a few others from my Discord, and um, Alex was saying, "Yeah, I'm wondering. If, you know, Alex was wondering if your your cube was going to split, and it was like, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> turns out, <laughs> turns out it, it did. Was, <laughs> it was definitely part of our game plan for the future tournament, though not in that way. <laughs> definitely not in that way." Uh, I'll have to say though, like, um, just the sheer luck of the shot in order to hit all the components he needed to hit for us to split. This is just Luke Skywalker level, and also, who the heck is floating out there? Security to the airlock, security to the airlock, thank you very much. Uh, please drag in that corpse <laughs> and warm it up. <laughs> I think, uh,. If you guys hadn't installed that uh, extra uh, exhaust vent, the extra <laughs> one, the the exhaust. Oh vent. yeah, the the exhaust, <laughs> exhaust port. I yeah. swear, if that's a Grimlock that went down the exhaust ports. Oh, well, it may be. I swear they do to God, that, that, that was my theory when 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 we that's, were rewatching it. Yeah, because we don't know if the Mac was still alive because he doesn't have welders. Yeah. So, much, so much be a fully operational battle station, eh? I was about to say, that so would have Red been Grimm's, extremely yeah. lucky. You know, from a viewer perspective, that was pretty fun to watch, though. Just, just that was that so fun. was, like, crazy. Mm -hmm. I'll have to say, at the very least, we provided a good show. Oh, that, like, I'll that. take that as a consolidation prize, despite the fuck-up. Yeah. I had it in the back of my it's head, oh, this match is over. I was walking away from my computer... And I just yeah. happened to look back and see a small explosion, and y'all ship started separating. I'm like, did they mean to do that? Why are they doing that? Yeah, oh, it, their looked, shields it, are it looked deliberate, and then it was just like, oh, no, it's not deliberate. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh, it's all and gone wrong. Just, you know, just snatched, snatched the feet from the jaws of victory. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> all downhill from there. Like, Honestly, if we had been a little more organized, I think we could have salvaged that situation. Maybe. Um, I mean, you only need like half a second more. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah was... for starters, we should have, um, instead of wiggling ourselves free of each other and try to gain independent control, we should have just kind of linked us ourselves back together using the um, connectors that we had on board. Mm. Yeah. That way we wouldn't have exposed the uh, interiors for quick one shots of course, sort of shields thing. would be gone by that point regardless so uh yeah yeah but at the very least one can kind of salvage something from it you know it's it's it kind of bad that i knew about the weak spot in your ship because of the one day y'all did a practice with this i chunked a hole in your ship and just flew in there with my player in the ground <laughs> <laughs> yeah, assuming that you would be able to get our shield down like uh like rio managed to I, 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 assume Rio, I assume Rio isn't about. I'm not. I've, I've not seen him in voice chat. So. Uh... Yeah. No. I sent him a message. He said he's not going to be available for interviews. Fair enough. No problem. Uh, well. Um, yeah. Any any thoughts on uh, on the on the technical side of things, gentlemen? Um, for Starcore. Uh, I mean, obviously. So, what was going on with your missiles? You could you actually see where they were going? I could not. Um, as I said, I'm fairly certain that there were a fair few phantom hits that we just did not have time to register. Yeah. Um, should probably well, uh, have set the shields to just, yeah, turn yeah. shunting off a little bit earlier than yeah. I asked my crew to. Was... Were y'all fortified? By the end. It's certainly very strange. All right, um, any any final thoughts from you guys? Uh, and uh, ob obviously you're out of this one, but uh, up for more, I I hope. Yeah, absolutely. Will you be um, will you be partaking of July Core? Uh, well, considering we're out, it's definitely on the table. Um, whether it's going to be the Borg Cube or a new design, we'll have to see. Fair enough. All right, gents. Uh, Either way, I'm going to have to make them. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, Keep no going. worries. No worries. Yeah, Next. well, I just wanted to round off with um, 
Yeah, I should probably add some more redundancies for that system if I plan to use it in the future. And uh, to the rest of you going up against Rio, watch out for that plot armor layer. Well, <laughs> you might just pull another one. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely plot armor. Just wants to pipe in it. and just wants to say that it was rigged. It was rigged. Rigged, I say. Rigged all along. <laughs> have we got anybody? Have, armor. We, have we got anybody here from uh, Hot Boys or FLC? No. Doesn't seem like it. Doesn't seem like it. Wow. Mm -hmm. give, him a, give him a sec to answer. Anybody in chat from Hot Boys or FLC? Um, we got a ping. Somebody joined Discord. Yeah, yeah. It was a hard I think that was Velcro jumping in. Long camera pan. <laughs> Uh, while we're waiting, uh, I want to say we were all <laughs> Some of here. us actually sleep at night from Ghost. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, How about okay, we so... let some of the others up on stage, yeah? Mm -hmm. Right, so be. watching when Rio actually hits the front of the ship, I don't see a Mac in there. I don't see the blocks that were supporting it either, but that's not to say there wasn't one there if it was a visual bug. Okay, well, in, yeah, in, really in which case, I will so I will move on, move straight on then, and say, is there anybody here from Mac or TLD? Uh, I'm TLD. I was TLD. All right, you want to? Are you in in the game? You're welcome to come up and, and have a seat. Or if you are you just here by uh, voice? I can launch it up right now. Here we go. The game started. That's up to you, mate. I'm. So who who have we got? I uh, need to. No. Nope. Uh, Auto McKee. You know me from such weapons as the Gladius Laser. Mm hmm. Uh, I heard 150mm cannon. I'm upset that we don't have the slingers. My ship. Slingers. You're Oops. upset. Haha. <laughs> uh -huh. So, yes. Uh, uh, um, yes, there was definitely something fishy about this match. Oh. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, so, <laughs> I am a uh, Mac sub. I was not particularly knowing I was going to be a Mac sub until about five minutes before the match. Okay, fair enough. Um, uh, he said, thank uh, you for stepping up. <laughs> Cyborg, Cyborg Commando uh, was the uh, one, uh, the sole survivor of the Mac team uh, that could uh, uh, that could uh, join. And... Uh, he was basically grabbing people left, right, and center, and we we're like, "Well, don't you have subs?" He's like, "Yes, we have about six subs." And none of them were anybody. available. God, oh. <laughs> I guess yes. Yeah, I um, I can understand We actually understand had a few that. join up after the match, being like, "Oh, I heard there's something going on." And I'm like, "Ah, it's too late." Yep. So um, we grabbed Meadow. Actually, what? I'm also I'm also here. Uh, what, am, what am I joining with? Yeah. Well, that's just unfortunate that that team availability didn't work out. Yeah, yeah it really is. They, I don't think they've won. That really sucks for Mac because I don't think they've won one yet. But uh, they keep trying. They keep trying. So I mean, while, while, I've, while I've got you up here, uh, Artificer, um, or Nathaniel, or however you... I can actually yes. pronounce Artificer. So, um... Yes, you can call me by that then. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> poor old sock. At this point, I think really? he's doing it deliberately, you know. Um, so one yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Go ahead. would you would you like to fill everybody in on what's going on with July Core? Panic. No, uh, <laughs> it's definitely something I bit off more than I probably could chew. Um, it's uh, going to be very fun though. Uh, there are definitely plenty of pretty lights and explosions that will uh, be around for you, everybody to watch. <laughs> thank you, Grot. Thank you, uh, the Grot. Thank, thank you, Grot. Thank you, Grot. That was great. Um, Imagine so, this, uh, but so, the so list let me get this right, Grot. It's R Ty Fi Ker. That is exactly how you say it. Yes. <laughs> so uh, my name is actually uh, my Twitch name was back about six years old, maybe back when I played Star Maid. And uh, so I was using just a different name, and I eventually, because uh, Zach was having so much trouble pronouncing my Twitch name, or I decided to keep it. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. So yeah, uh, oh, oh. but uh, 
So there's about a hundred weapons, maybe less than that, probably around 80 or 60. But uh, what we're doing is basically having people testing them, being like, okay, these are the stats that you need to change. A couple of people I haven't quite are thinking that everything's set in stone and are just messaging me about like, hey, you can't use it. It's too bad. Or it's not, it's not quite good enough. I'm like, all right, tell me the stats that need to be changed. Because I had the mod author right here. Mm -hmm. And they're uh, really eager to try to get them balanced because I think they used to shoot platinum or something in survival. You, are, you have them. most definitely got the clock against you for getting this thing organized. Um, We're doing okay. <laughs> if I, it's it's going to be a laugh regardless, and that's the most important thing. You know, we don't take this one too seriously. It's just, you know. But oh, we do gonna... have some beautiful guns. We uh, do. There's like curtain walls and stuff that are uh, both links and. Um, Aaron uh, have excellent uh, sound effects and for most of their weapons. Some of them are older and don't have uh, quite the same sound effects, but uh, the new ones have excellent. Uh, there's the one called the Reaper, which basically when you're moving, uh, it will cause a basically a curtain wall like uh, to kind of fall down and it looks like it's being affected by gravity, although it's not. And uh, we saw that during one of your streams, mm -hmm. and it's like, wow, that is definitely a cool weapon. We have to have, we have got to make sure many people have that. Yep. Uh, so, um, yeah, obviously, uh, Mac, Team Mac didn't do so well. Um, unfortunate. Um, it probably was a ownership uh, striking again. It w yeah, you think it was? So, it was the guns not shooting? Uh, yeah, when I was in within uh, six kilometers, or when I was in like four kilometers of Auto McD, and I'm like, hmm, all my guns are still facing forward. I guess I'll drag a uh, toggle click to shoot. And we, were, you, were you using the um, the painter mode? Because that was what Pilpit was uh, complaining no. about. Or... No, you just just had it as. I went so when I first logged in, I made sure that they were all set. I went and looked at all the guns, um, and they're all set to uh, the basic. Uh, AI, I they do they were set on focus fire, which I turn off because sometimes they'll shoot just choose not to shoot. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and I was making sure uh, they're all set to that. They all had target subsystem, target utility, yep, all that jazz. But uh, they just weren't working. And eventually, uh, when I lost my shields, I just turned off my ship and turned it on again. And also flicked all the switches, turn off the gun, turn on the gun, like literally every switch in that thing. I just went and clicked down on the groups. And that seemed to get the 203s working, but, or the, I mean the 300 millimeters working, but not the coils. Yeah. Um, and then uh, they were talking later about uh, if you set something to like click to fire and manual, it just breaks weapon core for the gun, which would explain why the coils never turn back on. So maybe yeah. uh, we're on to something to fixing that. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I fix that, yeah. Um. I, I liked uh, definitely the spectacle of the fish. Uh, I mean, of the shark, uh, the tail like barely dodging. Oh, the the, the shark yeah, was wonderful. Yeah. The shark was absolutely. Yes. Who built those shark ships? Uh, well, the, the the main one with the tail and everything. That that was that was my job. Yeah, that was a the fantastic build. My absolutely loved it. I hope. I, I honestly. I hope the sharks go all the way through and win the uh, win the prize style because the 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 moving tail was just absolutely we fantastic. We stand a chance at that, but uh, I don't think we're gonna win the tournament. I mean, there's some pretty good ships out there. Like I know the shark kind of stole the show for a little while today, but I don't think I don't I don't have high confidence of beating all the teams that I saw. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I know that feeling. Um, <laughs> I know that feeling very well. Um, so, as a as one of the modders as well for the weapons modder, um, any any thoughts on the technical issues that we've that we've seen tonight? No, I, I, you know, I try not to think. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> he just makes go really boom. Blame you for that, honestly. Um, yeah. I, I mean, I, I, I don't know. It's These are some weird glitches, and I, I, they're so far removed from the, uh, the the parts of it that I deal with, like, on my end. I, it's, yeah, and I, I just don't know what to make of it, because yeah. I'm not, I'm, I'm mostly, like, just an art guy. Like, I'll, I'll make the, you know, I, I made 
and make what the weapons look like. And yeah. And um, we weapon core kind of handles the rest. Yeah, I I understand that. Modders tend to fall into one of two categories, either art or code. And yeah, no, that's fine. Um, yeah, if you if you're the the arts type modder, then I yeah, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> In which case, your guns are very pretty. <laughs> well, thank you. Please add slingers. Yeah, <laughs> actually, uh, uh, the particles for the slingers, um, Hilfit helped, helped me out with that. And then uh, Mike Dude has been helping with like sounds and some other particles. And so I, I've got like, a lot of these are like collaborative. So I can't really take full credit for everything, but... But yeah, you're the, you're the chap that made the Gladius, aren't you? Is that, that that's correct? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like, I like the Gladius. <laughs> uh, so talk about pretty guns. Yes, yes. Gladius wins a pretty award, definitely. I'm kind of used to seeing it now, but when I first made that, that was one of the first weapons with that took up internal shift volume. Uh. And it was also the first one that was that had such stubby little barrels on it where there was. You know nothing sticking out i just kind of was like all this laser is reflecting straight out and there's no point to having barrels so i'm just gonna mm -hmm. make it look like this that like kind of is a functional decision so tell me how it's been uh from a from a modder's perspective taking part in starcore and having your mod used in starcore um i'm sure that there's extra pressures and demands on on you that you, most people don't realize so uh give us an insight into that world uh, the, uh, arguments and debates I've been in for, uh, revolving around be weapon balance, I mean, that's kind of been endless. Mm -hmm. And the bigger that this event gets, the more, uh, hype kind of is surrounding that, and it kind of puts even more pressure on you to make sure everything's right, and then there's also the balance perspective, because, uh, I mean, I was, I was also helping behind the scenes a little bit to try to help everyone iron out like you know how many points is this weapon supposed to be worth and then also lines had to be drawn in the sand of is is this the modder's responsibility or yep. can we put this on start for like we had to specifically uh separate because it, in the very beginning it was sort of like a a, a blurry line where um you know, the Starcore people wanted to change like weapon damage and mm -hmm. stuff. And but then we also had the battle point system, so it's kind of like, okay, well, this has to be one or the other. Like one's going to be the mod balance, and the other's going to be the Starcore event. Yeah, balance. yeah, like, yeah. You guys have the points. You know, make them more or less points, and then let the modder worry about the damage. And that that kind of helps simplify things once once the boundaries were there, but. There was definitely uh you know some growing pains there until we got that kind of ironed out yeah it, it really can't be easy dealing with that i know i've um i've spoken a bunch with krieg about that sort of stuff and uh you know so i've got his perspective on it um but it's nice to have another perspective on that as well um any uh any thoughts going forward um i yeah i look honestly i i really do hope that the sharks uh, continue to kick butt <laughs> i really do oh, that's so I, good to watch i'd be lying if i said that wasn't a fun round i mean I, I know things didn't go smoothly for mac but with the subs and the weapons not working right but mm -hmm. i mean for us it was just kind of a i don't know we had a lot of fun with it uh oh yeah. we had a plan and things went exactly to plan mm -hmm. and uh it was a blast and um i'm you know, I, I kind of regret that it wasn't um, <clears throat> that competitive for Mac. I mean, a more competitive match would have been more. Yeah, fun. obviously, n nobody wants to be in a position where they won because, well, you know, not necessarily because, but, um, you know, if your opponent had a technical problem, nobody wants to be in that position. Everybody wants, a, you know, their opponent fighting at their, at their best. And, you know, right. yeah. Of yeah, I mean, a fair fight is the ideal. Yeah, yeah, naturally. I mean, I think I think everybody can agree on that. It's just like, no, no, no. We don't, we don't, we don't want to fight you, nerf. We want to fight you with what you, you know, with what you've got, with what you can bring. And 
if it makes you feel better. I still think you maybe would have won just because with all the subs and the issues, if the weapons were working, we just didn't have enough uh, practice time with these ships. I, I, I've got but to be honest. Maybe, I think, maybe we could have gotten one of you. I don't know. I got, I've got to be honest. I think, the, I think the sharks would have won anyway. Um, oh, yes. Because of uh, the way that the balance was between those two teams. Um, the teamwork, man. The, uh, they definitely mobbed the missile ship real quick, yeah. Mm. Well, that, yeah, that and that was part of our strategy. We viewed the missile ship as a larger threat. The other one was completely blind uh, from the back. It just had the two big thrusters, and we're like, okay, as soon as you get behind that ship, you're going to knock out the thrust. And if you just st if you manage to stay back there, you'll you'll just yep. gut the whole ship. Yeah, I'm afraid that. Just... I'm afraid the blue the blue and white ship was um as I said we were we were watching um and chatting in Discord and you know when we saw the blue and white ship we honestly a lot of us said that thing's got too many exposed components. It's it's too delicate. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, there's one little moment of today that gave me a moment of joy and as stupid as I don't know what, but when XOC couldn't not when he could not find my Mac cannon, it made me happy. <laughs> you mean Zach? Yeah. 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 I call like the C. The um, there there were some good rams that almost happened. I know he was like cheering, but I was actually trying to dodge that first time around because all my shields were set to kinetic. Yeah. And I was like, oh, he's gonna nuke my shields if I hit if I if our shields touch. Yeah, and your tail almost whacked me again at the end when I was going to hit you. That, oh, sorry, that tail adds a little bit of. Well, one little question: Is there any decoys or warheads in that tail, or do you uh, not want to say? <laughs> so there's a few blisters like mounted on some of those sections, and a couple like uh, upgrade modules in case they're targeting cockpits. It's like so, there. I mean, there's a few little things. There's no warheads. Um, but I, I don't really view the tail as like a, uh, you know, it's not like one of these large spinning masses that's going to yeah. like disrupt. The oh, I, w I was just expecting it to act as a decoy, essentially. Um, yeah, I was hoping just just for normal decoy. <laughs> like if they're shooting at the tail, like there's nothing important there. A question from the chat: What was the uh, hardest pucker moment in the match for either team? Oh, that's easy. When I was about four kilometers away from, or whatever, uh, from uh, Otto, and he was in his shark charging me down, and none of my guns were moving. At that point, uh, I was like, oh, yep. panic. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why that would do I that just, to I you. I sent him to manual fire and try to, like, uh, get him that way. I had a And then he almost moment. hit me again. Yeah, that was great. That was a good yeah. moment, anyways. If, if y'all didn't pay attention to what I did, so I stayed back right at the beginning. I have a Mac cannon, but my ship is not a sniper. I am not meant to stay back. Mm -hmm. Um, so I kind of stayed back a little bit because I noticed their ships weren't really moving a whole lot at the beginning. Out, out of the ships in my team, I have the fastest ship. Um, my ship actually gets really fast when I, when I get up and go. Yeah. Um, so once my team got closer to those ships and they started to engage, I gunned it in to fly in. And I got up to about 210 meters per second. <laughs> and... Um, I pulled off the thrust and I forgot I don't have that much rear thrust. Yeah. Well, braking thrust. That, and I was like, oh, oh God, I almost rammed him. I couldn't stop. <laughs> I, I, was kind of I, I, I was kind of expecting the jaws of the shark, you know, uh, to, to latch on and bite at one point. Um, <laughs> when, I had, when I did a spin around right after that, Riddle, who was in the, the ray, he's not here right now. He did a flyby in front of me, and um, his shields were down at that point. And um, he, I, I just, in my head, I heard the Tokyo Drift music as his tail just was a half inch from the front of my ship. I actually sent a railgun round through the middle of his ship. Mm -hmm. a friendly fire, because you, know, you can't turn off my turrets on a fly. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, All right, gentlemen. That um, was... Any 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 final points? And uh, if if not, we'll uh, we'll get the next teams up. If there's anybody around yeah, from them. Uh, so 
I mean, you were asking him before about the modder, mod, getting a modder in this. And uh, mm -hmm. one thing I want to say is like, th this is really good uh, exposure for a modder. It is. Especially yeah. like, like I, I, I don't, you know, my mods, they're not that popular. It's not like, like Max Packs is, have been like a staple on like all the servers. And, uh, and it, like some of my mods have been gaining some traction, but it's, you know, it's not like prevalent everywhere. But mm -hmm. um, this this has been like really great exposure, and um, I'm really looking forward to seeing like Aaron and Lynx and some of the other newer upcoming mods. Absolutely, um, yeah. Seeing them getting added in future events, and uh, yep. I think. Uh, the July core is going to be kind of fun because they're just going ham with it. They're throwing in so many weapons that it's, kind of, yeah, you know, it's kind of silly. Like, there's no way they're going to ever have it balanced in time, but it'll be fun. It'll be fun, and I, fun, fun is fun is the most important feature here. Um, I agree with that too. So I'm not a modder, but I am a staff member for one of the larger servers, um, running for space engineers right now. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, we get a lot of new members. Um, coming in and it, it it really it's fun i get a lot of messages on the side saying hey your ship this week was amazing you're what got me into this this is why i'm joining the server and that's uh, awesome that's pretty fun it's pretty fun i, I like to i like to see a lot of new members zone. yep I, yeah and, uh, i absolutely agree we're stone industry oh gentlemen i gotta say i love the gladius and uh the slinger do a uh, really good work Gladius are so good Thanks, I appreciate it. The, uh, oh, July Core. Uh, join the uh, Star Core Discord when it goes live uh, on Sunday. And, um, oh, shoot, I lost my emoji. Yeah, or, and in the meantime, if you want to talk up. to your like anyway. stuff, uh, join my Discord. Um, and when when the, when the there's room in the official Starcore Discord. I'll um, I'll dive. I'll basically chuck everyone over over in that direction and archive mine. I just wanted to give people a, yep. a, a room to chat about it in the meantime. Right? Is do we have anybody here from uh, PLS? That's Platinum Spiders and ALC. Because that was an interesting match, uh, to say the least. Yeah. I'll, I'll ping in Platinum Spiders. They were just waiting on the call. Yeah, it was a uh, a I very. I uh, ask uh, Lynx and uh, Aaron. I don't know if that's a good idea. Huh. I'll just do a little ant. Oh, carnivore's hit. You in voice, carnivore? Or are you in in game? You're in game. Come and uh, come up to the couch, mate. I sent you a friend request, by the way. Ah, let me. Uh, let me yeah, no worries. Let me accept that. So th this one is uh, technically speaking, this is this game's public, so you should be able to join regardless. But uh, you know, I'm more than happy to be friends with anybody from Starcore. Yo, someone asked for PLS. Yo, sure. uh, yeah. If you if you're in game, uh, come down and take a seat. And if not, we can talk to you over the comms. That's absolutely fine. Um, well, we're currently in a test server, so comms would be better for yeah, us. Yeah, comms is fine, mate. Live <laughs> via Discord. Thank you, Grant. Uh, so yeah, um, what the heck happened with your match, guys? Uh, you know, because I I stuck all my clangers down on you guys because you know it's a pretty uh -huh. safe bet. Um, uh, and, and 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 then you lost, and then you didn't lose. Um, Did we lose? Hey, what? Uh, yeah. it, it, You're talking to PLS, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Well, this yeah. is what I mean. Like, what what happened? Because it was like, like something weird happened with the stream. Um. Uh, and uh, yeah. So um. Yeah. Yeah, there was there was technical problems, I believe, with with you guys, with what was oh. going on. Yeah, yes. well, we had That's an issue at the start. Uh, we had a whitelist of script, mm -hmm. but it wasn't in the actual white, so the server had to be restarted for it to get updated. Oh, is oh, that right. what so went on? Not really a massive 
Yeah. Yeah, that was what went on. Oh, it's like, so it's like, oh, I was watching the match, it was just like, and then it was like over, and then it was redone or something. It was like, oh. Yeah. So that was all it was, was just a, just a script problem. It was a server reboot to update the whitelist of the scripts. Ah, I see. Fair enough. So I thought the um, I thought the scripts would be locked in. Was there a reason? They were locked in. It's just the the scripts that were finalized added to the server. Ah, I've noticed because sometimes I supported the script on the last day. I see. I see. Fair enough. So yeah, uh, an, an unsurprising victory, of course. Um, your ships look absolutely wonderful and terrifying. Um, thank you, thank you. Yeah, the thank um, you much. Yes, the um, I assume that the the big the big uh, spider leg cages were some form of um, detachable whipple armor. Um, was uh, was my understanding, or, or, or so were, were they? Were they a form of, of, of essentially block it? You know, a method of blocking attack. Um, uh, do I do I release this information or not? It's I feel like it's up to you. We, we'll, we'll go with that. <laughs> well, the thing is, this can all. really change PvP in the next match if it matches if PMWs are allowed. So, um, I have ported both the PMW scripts, so I kind of know their code and. Mm -hmm. PMWs, they go for the center of a grid, right? Yeah. All the legs do is they make the center of the grid inside of the air. So the PMWs hit nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Understood. That's what's happening. Yeah. No, That's not completely understood. As long as you're aware of where they're coming from. Yeah. yeah. Right. So I wasn't sure whether whether they were um, designed to uh, basically act as a form of whipple armor, which uh, if you don't know what that is, it's basically the, the chicken wire they put around tanks. To uh, catch incoming missiles and um, shells, um, I, and yeah, but yeah, off, off, really offsetting the center of your grid, yeah, is a pretty decent defense against PMWs, to say the <laughs> least. Um, I, I got a question for you on that because um, this is this is something I find very interesting because I remember when the Mac cannons were first put in. People were using auto fire, auto aim scripts for that, and they also looked for the center of the grid before they fired. Um, you know, using a camera lock, and they used uh, it was like a ray tracing script that uh, yeah, I forgot exactly how it worked, but it looked for the center of the grid. And I remember, I think it was the episode with the joke boats that we did. Mm -hmm. We put the sails on the ship specifically to offset that center. So uh. that the uh, Mac cannons would miss when they. Oh, interesting! That interesting. That will be a great counter to uh, to what we're doing. Yeah, a lot. A lot of people, if they're building sensibly, will make sure that the center of their grid doesn't have anything too valuable in it. Um. So. That's the only... Yeah. Go ahead. If me and Links had that, um, when we were fighting against PLS. The center of our grid is nothing but armor, but the problem was I was lagging all over the place, so the PMW ended up staying through the back of me anyway. Mm -hmm. In yeah, addition the... to getting the horses disconnected halfway through the match. There's, there's been oh, discussions okay. of giant ring ships, so you just end up with uh, player-made missiles basically just flying constantly through the center of them. <laughs> yeah, um, Mass yeah massive battle my, my ship is probably... I don't know how many other people have done it. I've actually hollowed out the core of my ship. For that exact reason. Mm -hmm. That is the only reason the uh, Venator come. Um, me and Lynx did debate making ring ships, then we decided to go for Max, which ended up, eh. It wasn't particularly effective because I can't aim and I have terrible internet. Yes. Donut armor, best armor. <laughs> Donut armor, best Turns armor. Out. Yep. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Yep. Invisible man will not be pleased. Yeah, nah. he's been going a bit mental with. Armor testing. Well, let's let's just say there are many, many differences of opinions in the Starcore yep. community, um, and uh, everybody yeah, is. and everybody <laughs> is entitled to them. <laughs> Let PMWs have arrived. Yep, I do a lot, a lot of testing of different weapons and the way armor holds up and stuff. Nope. Sprinkles, I have mad respect for you as a scripter, but goddamn, I don't think PMWs belong in competitive. <laughs> I think we don't make um, the rules. 
The yeah. thing is with BMW is they're they're interesting for me as a player. Like they're so much fun to make. Uh, but I agree in the current form they're a bit unbalanced. So, well, what I suggested multiple times is what we really need is like a de like a decent weapon core warhead and just disabling all the ramming shit. So you have a weapon that's actually the weapon damage is constant between all shots. Yeah. I think so uh, speaking of warheads, correct me if I'm wrong, but you guys were actually using warhead PMWs. Just a few. Oh. Yeah, just a few of them. Because in my testing, variety they they use they use kinetic and warhead. Yeah, in my testing, yeah. warhead PMWs are serious. Like a kinet a kinetic yeah. PMW hit is nasty or potentially nasty. A warhead PMW hit is game changing. I'm my testing tells shown me that a mass block on the end of a on a PM PMW did a lot more damage than a warhead when it hits. Hmm. The way I think. PMWs oh, propelled is that PMWs have to be gravity propelled rather than thruster propelled. If that, if that was a thing, then you would at least have some defense in the form of gravity generators, and you can maybe give them a BP cost. There's, yeah. a, there's a lot of different theories working on them now. Darkstar and Krieg um, have spent hours working on it, and um, yeah, basically using a collision model, so a weapon called Warhead with a custom set collision value, will be able to amend most of their issues. Because the biggest issue we have right now is high integrity, high mass, non-deformable blocks doing really weird shit when they go really, really fast. Yeah, mm. it's but, um, non there, 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 are, there are nearly a dozen people that are all aware of the current issue, what's causing them to be overpowered, and they are working on a way to address them in which it's acceptable for everyone. Yeah, that's gonna be a hard solution. I, I've looked at the King Code because wheels were suddenly really OP, and I was like, why are we also OP? And I tried to look in the files, I tried to look in the game code, and I couldn't find it. And I have to say the the physics code of collisions is absolutely like it's a mess. It's, it's spaghetti. It's, it is the best havoc, spaghetti. Isn't it? Literally. Can can you use havoc for physics? Yeah. Yeah. I will but say havoc, uh, havoc breaks at high speeds. Um, yeah. Um, which is probably why vanilla has a speed limit that it's set to. Um, the fact that we've chosen to go over that means that certain things may break. And I guess collisions is one of those things. The relative top yep. speed in soccer space engines is in because I think it's after that speed, collision physics just doesn't work properly because you can't get faster. Yep. Yep. Um, that, that, that's part of, what, part of what happens. And it puts the server under strain. Mm -hmm. Which is also why PMWs are so incredibly powerful because um, they go over the recommended limit effectively, which means that they're completely unpredictable in damage. If yep. they hit something at 100 meters a second in vanilla speed, you'll typically get around the same damage. But it, with modded speeds, you'll get ridiculous, and it can vary from nothing yep. to infinite. Yep. Yep. And it's, it's, oh, it's, it's luckily it's, we it's, haven't it's, run into the biggest issue. Uh, shield, Which is shield glitching through? Yes. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so when when sim speed drops below zero point eight um, in any match, and you see PMWs coming at you at full speed, uh, they ignore shields almost outright. Oh wow. Yeah. Me and Links did some testing before the match with PMWs, just in preparation for the slaughter. Does that does that still apply if the adaptive sim quality is turned off? Yes, it does. Damn. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 just to do with the flat value. If it goes below zero point eight, um, so we we tested against barrages of two hundred missiles at a time. Um, sim speed one point and above, there was one in every two hundred missiles would face through a shield. The second you went below point eight, um, you lasted about the first five, maybe six PMWs before your ship vanished. Yeah, that's Can I give you something so, yeah, it's very unfortunate. Yeah. Some weapons will ignore shields as well when sim speed drops like that. I've seen that happen in my server. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, well, no, it's, it's all OP, more information that we lot. need to carry over and take into account for um, the next run round. Yeah, is, seen, uh, is anybody from the other team about? Uh, from, uh, yeah, right, yeah. Yep, yeah, cool. So, uh, yeah. Nah, that's fair enough, mate. Um... Aaron is also doing a July core. Yes, yeah. yes indeed. Uh, one of the the major contributors again, a modder. Um, showed off your mods the other night, mate, and very good they were too. Um, oh. Oh. 
It'll me and Ames awesome. did originally uh, consider doing PMWs, but we decided, eh, let's try and have some fun because, in my experience on PvP servers, PMWs are kind of just like you drop them, you win. Mm -hmm. Especially on servers like Upside Down, where we don't have shields. Yeah. Because um, on Upside Down, I don't bother building um, any of the dedicated guns. I just have a PMW boat. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's something that could do with being looked at. Um, but I'm damned yeah. if I know what the right answer is, and I wouldn't yeah, want yeah. I wouldn't want to remove the engineering side of space engineers. You know, what you can do is four layers of uh, edge blast armor, uh, not the regular blast door, but the uh, edge of it facing outwards. Mm -hmm. um, through extensive testing, uh, they can catch and stop PMWs, but it is heavy as hell. Yeah. <laughs> yep. In, to, uh, in, in Link's initially experimented with um, what, interior pillars mounted to the exterior of a ship, just a bunch of long sticks. They did yeah, do well in stopping some of them, but at the same time, all yeah. of the times it was things, like, things that get in the way that are non deformable blocks, etc., etc., there are ways. So, Platinum Spiders, gonna go all the way? Oh, gonna take, to gonna take that, <laughs> gonna take that crown? They Call this uh, World Warrior Salesman. Yeah, Khan's <laughs> looking pretty pretty stiff. Tell me about but, it. <laughs> man, how disappointing, though, that we're in the same bracket. Like, I, I thought yeah. we might be able to, to meet in the finals again, just like old times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were hoping for that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you never know. Uh, we we, a chance might, to get we in there. might just not come out. It might happen. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, yes, yeah, true. There are, I gotta get there. Yeah. We gotta fight this potato. Yeah, we just we just need all of their all of their guns to not work, um, and we'll be good. <laughs> um, we just need them to have a bunch of technical issues because that was how me and Links won the SGC fight because they have a they had a guy missing and their map was bugged. Yeah. So yeah, just, um, question just... question from the chat: uh, concerned about Spartan? Us? The uh, or... the 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 very large. Yeah, the, the 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 big ship we saw I in the first day. I think if I release our tactic, I think he doesn't have a mech, so we can safely play around with asteroids because he can't shoot through asteroids. Uh, so we can kind of pick off his shoots and then his BMW to finish him off. Uh, what's what sort yeah. of team has you guys worried? Um, fast, slow, calm. 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 <laughs> Yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the first kid to got the rail gun? Who I, got the mask knife on Link? I mean, I I think like since the beginning, I've I've kind of felt like speed is 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 pretty powerful, and uh, it is know, speed yeah. maneuverability, range, like you know having the right mix of that is pretty strong. Those guys so, with seven one million mass in total, UFG. Oh my god, they're strong. I've heard about this. I gotta watch that that match. I've like been like new underdogs. They're crazy. It was amazing. Yeah. Who was the guy who got the max shot on Links at the start of the round? That that would be me, Arkaval. That, that was that was a good hit. Good shot to the asteroid. Yeah. We watched the match. Arkas got the MVP because he took down both of your shoots before we even got yeah, the fight. Yeah, who was? Mm -hmm. um, because I assume it was you who pulled me with PMW because I was trying to get a Mac hit on you and then obviously my ship just like turned about 90 degrees. I don't it, know if that was either it, lag or getting hit by about 4 PMWs at once. They, they do have some recoil on the ship shooting and the ship receiving from the Mac for sure. Mm -hmm. well, and I guess I wasn't actually firing, I was charging up and then I got punted and then I fired it into the abyss. Oh, yeah. yeah. So... Saw the hit. It did look like it coincided with one of the PMWs uh, doing a bit of phasing because it kind of hit you while it was parallel to your ship. Normally mm -hmm. PMWs hit point first, and I saw when it phased inside your hull. Yeah, your whole ship just had a bit of a moment where it just went, "I'm gonna face this way." Yeah, I I had at one point where I was trying to fly, and for whatever reason, about just when I was about about five seconds before my shields got shot down, my ship just started to start flying like a piano. Which was odd. Yes, yes, that was uh, that was a strange moment, wasn't it? Where the, the ship just decided to pirouette on the on the spot. Um. <laughs> Lynx was well, able to get good damage got into uh, sprinkles. I saw a few ships during this this tournament today. It looks like they just got slammed in in different directions every now mm -hmm, and then. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, GG's bro. GG's. Well, gentlemen, uh, any any final thoughts or comments uh, you'd like to bring up? Oh, Can I give Aaron some tips on the ship? You guys, I think you had only one cockpit. Go for four, definitely. We did. We are very new. Okay, well, there's your tip. Uh, Most... Another tip, don't make these fights personal because you kind of did by kind of blasting me in chat before. So yeah. we went extra, extra hard on you guys. The, um, the, the main thing that um, I kind of yeah. demotivated me on the flight was the fact that we reloaded for the PMW script because it was annoying because my internet was already being terrible and it took me five minutes to load in. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we can't have any uh, we can't have any personal attacks. These things are just for fun. Like kind of um, went into the fight with basically no energy. But yeah, you guys had amazing grits. They they looked great. Um, Very good. Really good, strong in first match. Like for the first time playing, really strong. I think yeah. we, our first match was more or less luck because we were against another inexperienced team. Because if I watched back um, SGC's um, of the fight with SGC, and their Normandy charge at the beginning was just plain suicidal. Mm. Well, wasn't that thing a drone? Yeah. Like, like uh, you, you no. guys were new. I, I don't. Those guys might have been like that. Might have been their first game on a PC. Because mm. um, the thing about the SGC ship was it was the Archangel, the Gundam one that was the drone, and it didn't move even that much. Right. Fair enough. Well, um, we we live and learn. Um, yeah. And uh, we 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 go on to we go on to better things. Veterans are not born overnight. Um, right. Well, thank you very thank you very much thank you very much, gentlemen. And uh, Eric Aaron, uh, <laughs> good luck with uh, with with getting everything sorted for July Corps. Um, Balancing as hell. <laughs> oh, I don't doubt it. <laughs> That's why I'm only being a cameraman for it. We've got uh, ninety-five guns now. <laughs> oh god oh no there's more <laughs> all yeah, right the full do, do... package and the full U unsd yeah we need to get Krieg in on this to help us balance because right now it's just you do we have also, anybody from con or tlb here um i can ping matt he's on my server i, I see Winfield. yeah too. um Winfield, i'll, I'll um <laughs> yep yeah, I'll, I'll ping tlb guys yeah. that was great winfield <laughs> Hey everybody! Howdy. I think a ping map should be it. Go up and have a seat, folks. <laughs> All right. No, I'm here. I'm just a sub, so I don't know if I, you know, oh, should get up be here. up here. Come on. Yeah, come on up, mate. Come on up. It's all here. good. Sub, sub is welcome to you. You participated, mate. You're in. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Could you give me permission to edit the Google Doc, so, please? So what oh, you guys, yeah. what you guys don't know is that there's a tornado that was touring or Cancer Canada. <laughs> where winfield lives and so his internet connection like was dropping and key here was like on top of things like he was like on the server ready to rock and roll until finally the tornado passed so like mm -hmm. yeah but yeah, my phone went off with a big tornado warning and sorry i'm really down it's hardcore that's really yeah. hardcore yeah all right well uh just sitting there I'm just happy it did come back because I've not had time to practice and I just came back from college orientation and stuff so it would not, not have gone nearly as well. Ah, oh, you would have been fine. Just gotta ram that happy face with the Cortez and you'll, that's about the end of the plan, really. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> well, aggression. I, I gotta admit, from, from my own perspective, um, I, I am a little disappointed that TLB didn't beat Con. Mostly because we were we were going to try and arrange for our ships to be called to be get renamed Inky, Blinky, Pinky, and Clyde. <laughs> <laughs> and now we can't do the joke. <laughs> I will have yeah. your, your um <coughs> preparation. I know you're not allowed to modify, but can you repaint them? Well, we're just gonna change the LCDs. We can do that in game. <laughs> You could probably repaint them. I don't think anybody would care. They, they don't allow new submissions, so whatever you would have to do, you'd have to do between the start, like when they paste them in the yeah. match start. Yeah, we could just do it via LCD. It wouldn't have been an issue. Get the little pictures of the ghosts in. Yeah. Um, there you go. Pretty yeah. Stage, another yeah. Game I, that sucks. I have no. questions for Khan, just out of curiosity. Did you get our blueprints off the workshop? or? Uh, we actually started building your 
ships we had got it. already built some small differences mostly where the reactors were placed just we were basically sure, sure. i think but i think he has he pictures has on his steam of his you have uh bags. are those public <laughs> okay whoops <laughs> just a bit away from your mouth I think so. Key uh, did a really good rebuild of. Uh, there we uh, go. What's it called? Tweak the volume. The maximum annoyance. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah. Almost nailed it just from the just from the thumbnail picture, really. Yeah, I mean it's it's not a complicated ship. I to to be real with you guys, we uh, we spent four hours design like <laughs> building <laughs> and submitting it. So there were a ton of little issues with our with our setup and we were like what can we do in the time like you know what can we do with just the settings and stuff to like mitigate these issues these glaring issues we have with our with our designs and stuff because yeah we we were like oh crap it's time to submit and we ran into a in the server and did our best to throw things together so uh mm -hmm. i think with this next with this next grand tournament we're we're like we're gonna give ourselves time and actually design good stuff yeah, we're, yes. yeah. yeah i don't think scary yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, yeah, yeah. Minus the ramming, like I feel like, well, you guys had probably. I mean, in my opinion, like I, like between Con and PLS, PLS might potentially pull this out, being that they have warheads on their on their uh, PMWs and could just launch those and do damage through your shields. It's a possibility. Yep, it is. But, yeah, but sure it really is. comes down to Con and PLS. Uh, at the end, in my opinion, again. Um, I, see, I see how this is. Cool. I see how this is. This is just all, all <laughs> automatic. Like, yeah, we, yeah, 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 yeah. Big old battles. Yeah, yeah. Colin's just going to walk all over <laughs> them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're probably <laughs> right. But... Just so you know, just so you know, Big Old Bear, we we can't have our brawler 3v1 your ships. So we tried. We did try. Just it doesn't work, man. Mm -hmm. Fair yeah. enough. <laughs> we, we've been we've been strateg we've been strategizing, and obviously, I'm not going to discuss that right now. Um, we, we, I, I'm, we, I'm sorry. The flaw that we had with our design was that we didn't put any, we didn't balance our Pac-Man out, so we couldn't we couldn't legitimately leave it and let it sit and let it be ignored effect effectively. Because if I we mean, had, we could have built better, you know, more rounded ships, mm -hmm. and then with more with more acceleration or whatever and like you know pulled some of the if one person was getting focused we could have the other people you know anyway there's there's a couple there were things we could have done better as far as making the pac-man more capable by itself and so our other ships could do better supporting each other and letting pac-man be ignored but having its dual max and and doing doing its own thing and um, there's, there's no underestimating pilot skill as well let's be honest you know, um, yeah. we, we you from a viewer's perspective, we saw the entirety of Con move it, swoop in, kill one target, kill the next target. They're, they're... Well, yeah, but I mean, that is, we couldn't, we were stuck stationary, so they had the opportunity to easily target one mm. person. It wasn't like we had ways of, we didn't, we didn't have any mobility, so we couldn't, we couldn't counter any kind of single target well, yeah but what i'm what i'm saying is that uh yeah, really uh you know a lesser watch. experienced team wouldn't wouldn't have done that you know they would have had their shots going all over the place and and that is not to be discounted you know um yeah we, yeah uh, was, in in the infinite universe i think there were chances for us to have been able to pull that off but but it was not in our like uh we i mean the main main thing was that um I think the main problems that we had in that fight were that our our pilot didn't realize they have this stupid camera like angler angling mod or whatever on there and so i i think he he angled the, his primary shooting camera a certain amount off and so he oh. wasn't landing shots squarely that, that answers a question for us we were wondering why he was yeah. missing somebody yeah. moving slow that explains a lot mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um and then so that was a problem one and then problem two was that um i on my ship there's my my ship went down so quickly was because um for one i didn't realize i was getting zapped as quickly as i was but then i didn't i didn't realize the mac was coming in for a ram it wasn't focusing on me or at least one of them so i left myself modulated too far to 
uh, kinetic and didn't yeah. modulate far enough to energy quickly enough. I could have drawn the time it took to kill me out by like three times no. had I had I modulated more. Well, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. It, it's it's never easy when you're under that kind of pressure and you know, you've got different shots coming in. You're like, oh, what? How you know? How should I shift my modulation? It's <laughs> not it's easy. Uh, our own scenarios of that fight, and like I knew that if I modulate a whole bunch of a whole bunch of energy, the the main thing was I thought I had two max max uh, tra trained on me still, and and because had I realized that one of them was going in for a ram, I could have committed more the direction of energy defense and yep. less kinetic. See, that I thought you were... Oh, uh, sure. Was that Ram planned from Khan? That was amazing. Yes, yeah. yes. Was yes it was. Oh. Planned, practiced. Literally practiced. <laughs> like, a big happy face target. Like, yep. mm -hmm. I was actually lucky that it spawned my ship in with a relatively straight run. The practice runs were so much harder than the real run. <laughs> Because I, I thought I was going to be, like, dead behind the asteroid. So, so like ladies and gents, this is the difference between a, a winning team, <laughs> like Khan, and the rest of us. They practice. I'm just I lucky I didn't lose my Mac. I see you have the same situation as me and Lynx, where um, we just built our ships literally, like, an hour before the deadline. <laughs> did tell any <laughs> Yeah, we did not. Oh, Ours are the nice. work of what a month? A and month of work. Spe speaking Probably of more than that. Speaking I mean, ever of... since before. Yeah, and it seems like you've been tweaking your grid since the since well, early on, right? So the... we never bring the same loadout twice no, if we can help it. No, sure, I, um, sure. Speaking speaking of cons grids, though the um, the new ship, the new edition with all of the lasers, that's go. interesting. Ah. That's an interesting oh, little like ship. Is that is uh, is that your <laughs> counter to fast movers? I mean, yeah, very clearly, very obviously, it is our interceptor. But unfortunately, there aren't a whole lot of um, fast movers in the tournament. Not nearly as many as we had hoped. If if I could be permitted to interject a question here, absolutely, uh, mate. You you may have heard this earlier, but it's a repeat of of a question I asked one of the other teams as well that I find that would be an interesting one to answer from your guys' perspective as, as well, is the what is the, the the biggest pucker moment, that that clutch choice, that moment where you go, oh, crap, I've got two choices to do here. I can either do one thing or I can do the other. Please hit the happy face. Please hit the happy face. I think it's bad. <laughs> yeah. It's failing out of the zone, and it's going to be really embarrassing. Yeah. I mean, in our, uh, in our fight, there wasn't a lot i mean we we as soon as my ship was destroyed we were like oh yeah this is a losing fight we needed to have for one uh we needed to have targeted the right target one of the one of the um brawling brawler ships either preferably the um the sausage we needed to target that and taken its taken its uh weapon like taking its shields on and done a bunch to its weapons or just, you know, have its effectiveness, essentially, mm -hmm. early on. Um, or or we were basically lost. So as soon as my ship went down and we hadn't achieved that objective, um, it we basically knew it was over for us because that was literally the only thing that would have allowed us... We had to decrease that DPS by a dramatic amount right yep. off the bat or we were screwed. And we were, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, it's fun though. I, it, no, I mean, I'm sure it was kind of fun for you guys. Yeah, <laughs> for me, it looked like okay, I'm dead here. Let me go and repair that Mac that's constantly taking damage. <laughs> yeah, you kept it up for a long time. <laughs> why why yeah. did you go for uh, the one min max grids and two less so instead of the one really big min maxer that we saw in TT7? I think. I mean, we have a lot of, we have a, I mean, we're going to go more balanced, but you will always see TLB coming with a lot of shields. We'll just, we'll just have better PVP designs and, te and team comp overall in future matches. I mean, that's all we can uh, do is work yeah. on what we've got and keep getting better. And yeah. honestly, yeah. I've, I've been around since CES Tournament 2 and um, it's been pretty so clear that teams our... have been getting better. You know, the designs have been getting better. The piling has been getting better. Sure. The shield manipulation's been getting better. Yeah. yeah. 
I mean, what you what you see what you saw with this tournament, at least from TLB, was oh, the configuration for shields isn't fixed. Big massive shield submit. <laughs> you know, like we there wasn't a we didn't do any of our strategizing for much of like any of the fights and stuff coming up until like after our first fight and we were like, okay, we're still in this fight, you know. Oh See, crap, we're going as con. Crap, you know. No, I, I can tell I can tell you from personal experience that a big massive shield versus con is uh, no 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 way to uh, secure a victory yeah. because I don't know whether you guys remember the uh, the skirmish. Uh, I brought the Borg cube. Oh, um, yeah. And uh, with uh, yes. 58 million shields, and uh, you guys made it look like paper. <laughs> Still took forever to kill. I mean, we were there for a while. It did take a while to kill, yeah. I was disarmed. I couldn't do anything. Yeah, didn't you, like, literally forfeit because it was taking so long? Yeah, yeah, I gave, I gave up because, like, you couldn't get to the juicy innards because there was so much armor, but it, I basically had, like, yeah, one no. missile launcher left, so it just wasn't worth continuing. The thing about the thing about shields is like it's this balance between how much are you going defense and how much are you going damage, and you have to find that oh, yeah. that critical balance, which you know really have with we had the nuke potential, but going against Khan, it was like Khan's got this figured out. They're going to have things modulated correctly. We're not going to get the one off of like oh they're modulated neutral and we get you know five million damage per max shot on these on these mm -hmm. targets or mm -hmm. nothing like that's going to happen. Um, but like. Uh, Sorry, where is, it, where is it going? Um, yeah, I mean, like, the shields are on only as good as how, how much DPS you can do to take their shields down and do damage to their hull before your shields go down yep. and you start taking hull damage. Um, so, so any, any thoughts from our pro, pro teams about what the what the hell's going on with missiles? Uh, ownership, do we think? It's, it's an old bat. Or you mean shooting themselves down? Yeah, missiles uh, shooting themselves. I know the, the max missiles are being shot down by the his two yeah. friends. Well, first of all, um, yeah, that was I, weird. We, I was watching the footage and I was like, "What the heck? Why are why is yeah. that point defense? Not why is that point defense important? shooting yeah. down our own bloody missiles?" Yep. Mm. I don't know. Isn't only limited to um, Starfall, by the way. It I've, might be. A, it might have been an ownership issue, honestly. I've, I've generally seen that when it's so. Uh, I mean, like I said, I stay up for a big server. I see a lot of times when weapons shoot down missiles from. It's usually an ally situation, so that means there's an ownership issue, and it's not considered in the same faction. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it could have been those blocks were just unowned, and so when they were launching, they. They were considered uh, neutral. They weren't yep. gonna hit their own grid, but they were considered neutral, and my and our discos were yep. busy with them. That I, would I, like, I don't think that would have tipped the scales much, but like that would have really significantly helped because Khan doesn't have like any point defense. Yeah, and that was that was well, something we were hoping was gonna be. Uh, at the same time, your own point defense is overheating, shooting your own missiles. So it exactly. So uh, the so your Grims were. I think more of your grims got through than otherwise would. Yeah. I think we got a lot of your grims still, at least until you took it's, out. It's it's definitely something we need to look into. And honestly, after I finish up the interviews, uh, there's not going to be a rematch tonight, um, uh, but maybe midweek. So after I finish up the interviews, I think w what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a, spend some time actually properly looking into that missile situation, see if I can work out what the hell's going on. And it may just be as simple as take ownership of your grids. You know, they should be set, they'll be set to nobody at the start, right? So I tried that, they, but they're original owner, by the way. So you need to convert your grids to uh, whoever's the owner. The problem I think is is that I didn't have admin rights or any kind of permission to do that claiming. So when I went in to to claim my own grid, um, they didn't have. Uh, Mm -hmm. I didn't have the right to, to own any of it. So it could be an issue going, going forward. There. It could be an issue going forward, yeah. Assert ownership of their vessels. Actually, um, from a TEC fight, we found out because Darth had uploaded all of our blueprints, he was in basically, he was the only one pr with permissions. So he had to go around before the match started to each of the ships and give them to us. Yeah, and Z Defender. Right, the same so I'll be, I'll be in the same boat then because I was the one that uploaded all of ours. 
So, uh, so yeah. Uh, I, I, I was question. trying to get that and tell everyone that because yeah, we, we we found that in all three of our matches um, when we had the RTS bug affect us in fifth. That yeah, well, Wiseman was the one that uploaded all of our shit. Yeah. Well, I guess uh, the future uh, have everybody well, upload their own blueprint. Yeah, that's well worth knowing then. Uh, we can't do that for our team because the the we're we're not so hard set on that, and obviously people can be subs and so forth. So yeah. Yeah, it probably um, makes it harder on subs. Yeah, definitely. Well, I um. So, quick question. A quick know. question from uh, from the biggest grot. Uh, what's your favorite form of point defense? Uh, what PD would you guys recommend? Penrith, you want to take that one? Yeah. Uh, why are you guys using PD? That's a really bad move. <laughs> Fair enough. That's, that's a hilariously <laughs> point defense. It's a hilariously, hilariously. It's a hilariously obnoxious waste of points. You shouldn't use PD. Why, you just, why, you why, just why, move slightly. Just move slightly so the missiles miss you. Or don't also don't use M8s. M8s are super weak. Are, are you sure? No yeah, I'm I'm one hundred percent sure. I mean, I mean if you don't have to block. take you don't have to take my word for it. You don't have to take my word for it. Yeah please don't honestly Hi. if you if you wanna if you want to use M8s, please do. I'm happy to watch you use M8s all day long. But otherwise if you need if you insist on using point defense um i would say gim or not gimbals um what are they disco called balls. Okay. the disco EX balls lasers. disco you balls i think are the best ass. answer to m8s uh, though why you'd want to shoot m8s down boggles my mind and then um mcrn pd pcs or c Wiz, either one's fine at taking down twerps but that's it the rest you can ignore fast. as long as you're not moving that's the other thing like and the right if you have <laughs> if you have yes. yeah and if you have if you have a ship that moves at all and you have PD on it, your PD is worthless. So why are you using it? It's it makes this, no I sense. I mean, that's not true for discos. Like if you have disc discos, the reason you use discos or or even uh, gimbals is because they they aren't worthless when you're moving. Right, uh, but, if you're but moving, they're, you don't they're need for M8s anyway. anyway. Yeah, if you're, you're moving, you don't need them. So if you're it's, moving, the M1 is going to miss you. So. Yeah, and if M8s. Fast enough, like check like i want you guys to do this after this interview go to your servers your single player worlds whatever load up a ship with like 40 m8 missile launchers and then target uh say a mark three battle cannon and tell me how much damage it does also try and penetrate shields with them even bias to kinetic tell me how long it takes mm -hmm. you're not you're like not that. going to do it you're M1's going to sit there forever in general m1s are okay if you can hit with them uh, again, you can just sort of. Yeah, we saw. I think uh, from twisted. a lack of missiles, in my opinion. M ones are probably the highest DPS weapon in the list. Yeah, yeah they'll they'll it. leave craters, but you got. I think hit uh, with. that's what we saw in the very first match, actually, with uh, Twisted versus Rio. We saw M ones just eating each other's shit, but we couldn't see M ones yeah. because we had about yeah. two thousand uh, M eights in the air at all times. I would say there is, I, I'm going to retract my statement just with one caveat. If you're flying a potato that just sits there and, and doesn't move, like say Spartans you or should Pilfits, definitely have point defense. you should have point defense specifically for Grimm's. Yeah. Because Grimm's will snipe your um, shield components in your cockpits. Yeah. That's the only thing. M1s you can resist with shield bias, M8s you can ignore because they just don't do anything. Nothing, nothing worthwhile. Anyway, yep. and speed be so. They're 300 points. What are you guys doing wasting your points on M8s? Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just just just, just grab a 300 millimeter there. and let the guided right. rounds go to town. Like yes. like get something better. Anything, literally anything is better. Get freaking blisters, six of them for wow. the cost of an M8. I mean, uh, that's hyper. That's like, get kind it. of a lot. Right. You know what I haven't seen so far in this tournament. Got Everyone one. was super worried about focus fire and rail guns cutting people's ships in half. <laughs> yeah, I haven't, I haven't rail seen gun. a railgun spam nope. ship using focus fire cutting a ship in half. Bro. Unfortunately, nope. as Pilfit's nope. fight <laughs> demonstrated, that, that feature isn't quite working as intended. No, unfortunately uh, okay. not. Pilfit was having, yeah, his, his issue is personal to his ship because it was working on a Canada test server. Uh, like a day before the deadline, so we don't know what happened with his ship. We we again we suspect the bot. I've been talking with Math about it, so we're yeah. we're looking into what exact issue caused that. 
No, I think there's something something going on with the bot, but an ownership, but yeah, who knows? Because the, the that's, manual that's fired gun bug has been around since forever. I just haven't gotten around to actually sending Dark any um, logs about it yet. So, and I haven't done anything. I've even made him aware of it because I've used it before. Because I think I'm the only one on our team using 300 millimeters, so I do take advantage of the manual fire. But Spartan's ship works, mine doesn't. So, because if you switch to manual mode, there's a, a very, very high chance that if you set them back to auto, they just don't work. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, I, I found hear... that the hard way. Yeah, yeah I want to hear something dirty. Oh boy. So, I do a lot of weapon testing, and I have uh, a lot of different ways to test these weapons. And one thing that I do is block damage tests, and um, specifically how many blocks that a weapon can destroy in a certain amount of time. Same. And... Um, one thing I found really interesting over an extended, you know, uh, three to five minute test, 150 railguns have more DPS than 250 railguns. They fly faster. Yep. And they're cheaper. They're uh, great. Yeah. Lower they're range, but yeah. Ones I use. The other in ship my... I was going to bring had a bunch of 150s. I mean, in my in my testing, the 75 mm is is better than the uh, 250 as well. Yeah. But that's you know, I've gotten well. I've gotten well. mixed results. Um, for the point cost, yes. For just you, are straight you guys up. accounting for for overheating? Are you guys like yes. turning yes. it off? Yes. I okay. don't know what you guys are talking about, man. Rails are OP. Really? <laughs> we <laughs> don't need you doing <laughs> this. <laughs> <under> <laughs> <the filter. laughs> I I only use the two fifties on my ship because of because of their range. It, everything just mixes in four to six kilometers on my ship. That's why. Mm -hmm. For me, they look cool. One fifty should work cool. out. Okay, um, I will. No I think we should, we should, CIWs or anything. I, I would like. To, I would like to wish Con uh, luck tomorrow, but uh, not too much luck. Um, oh, <laughs> and we will see you on the battlefield, good sirs. Indeed, uh, um, good fight. Yeah. Uh, do we have anybody here from Herd of Cats or uh, definitely not Space Pirates? Uh, herd of cats, we're here. Well, two of us are, anyhow. Yes, I love herd of cats. Yeah, come on, Johnny yeah. boys, up you come. They make me money, and then money I mean clangers. Yeah. How's it going? Yeah, it's going great, mate. Yeah, the uh, yeah, yeah, your drones are on form again. <laughs> you just got to interview the people you're gonna fight tomorrow, and I just don't feel like you asked enough questions to have that kind of advantage. Uh, yeah, we would have I wouldn't. I wouldn't want an unfair advantage against Con. You know, obviously oh, we're going to win anyway, right? So. <laughs> okay, I, I appreciate it. You're just just ask them exactly where the reactors are in their ship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, Ryo is not here, what? so I can't interrogate him. Where exactly is your all your cockpit? Yeah, yeah. I need the exact location. It's a name change. <laughs> Oh dear. On so bridge, yeah. Didn't you see? Drone, drone's kicking ass. Uh, glad to see it. Do you reckon you can go That's all the way? Are. Uh, I mean, I we're we're pretty confident about the next couple uh matches. Uh, the other side of the bracket is terrifying though. So. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's uh, that's where that's where we're uh kind of concerned. It'd be nice. It'd be nice to uh go all the way, but, you know. We're just gonna do our best mm -hmm. every uh, every single match. But yep, that's uh, you know, I, I'm just uh, happy that the drones work every time. Uh, it would be embarrassing if they did not, especially if uh, they stopped working on my team. Uh, yes, yes, it would. Um. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be just like that skirmish from the previous time. Wait, what? Which skirmish? With the battleship MK2s. Oh yes. Okay. <laughs> I have a round based battleship in case you banned. I don't know. Yes, I am a Groot. Because I, I saw that one. It's only the square based one. Oh, Groot, sorry. The problem with the square based one is that it sucks. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm not it? really sure. I think it's the same thing. Excuse me, sorry. That was kind of than the Mark III. They all suck. Uh, they do all right. Uh, they, uh, they're, they're, they're a nice anti potato weapon, uh, but they're kind of like you, you have to be shooting at something that is moving very very slowly 
Uh, and that is what those drones that you got to see in, in the in the skirmish uh, were for. And of course, they went up against fast ships and uh, were just completely ineffective. Nonsense. They did wonderfully. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, they didn't get destroyed. They, they keep, they keep the pouring on the then. fire and they keep pouring it on from all angles. Um, and that, that puts pressure on your opponents for like, you know, shunting of shields and stuff that maybe we're seeing it more is, as observers than you're seeing on as you're fighting but trust me you, the drones are a very very valuable part of the team they have, they have noticed they can't that. shunt yep mm -hmm. they can't move uh, they have to keep moving they can't shunt and it, i don't know if you've noticed but both teams that we've fought against thus far have rushed us immediately yep uh which is i mean it's a valid tactic uh it, it kind of there's two ways kind of to deal with the drones one is to hang way back and the other one is to go after the player ships both seem to uh have gone after the player ships thus far and Ta tactically, I mean, so they far remind, me, tactically they remind me of bringing artillery to a in a strategy game you know it, it's it's about <laughs> forcing the engagement that's true. That's actually one of the things that like uh, the um, Mac used to do uh, back in the day. Now people aren't so concerned about Macs anymore, mm -hmm. I don't think. But yeah, the drones are more of an environmental hazard because they can follow you anywhere. They can hit you anywhere. You can. There's only so much you can do to hide from them. So you know, and eventually you have to face them because eventually the uh, the zone is going to force you to. Like so. you were saying, the opposite number tactic to uh, jumping straight in and going after the, the player ships directly is to hang back, lob long range fire at the player ships, and let the drones fly out of the zone, attempting to circle you. Well, like, uh, I'm not gonna, the... I'm not gonna say whether or not our drones will stay inside the uh, the arena, uh, but I will say that drones can. Uh, it depends on how you design them, and it depends on how you tune them. Uh, but since we haven't made it to the end of a match yet, uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep that to myself. It'll be a surprise for whoever the unfortunate team is that we have to face next, which is, I think, Raya. But <laughs> either way, it will be an interesting match. And did it well. I, yeah. pre I predict I Raya is going to get hit by every missile, and then something's going to clang out on your ships and they're going to blow up right as he's about to lose. Because oh, of like, his plot armor. I have a question, oh, actually, it's for any, any uh, Senor Velcro. Uh, yes, go ahead. Um, why mark threes over north winds on your ships? Uh, so, Sink, you want to field that? Your design? Um, which ones those are again? Ah, uh, yeah, Phil. okay, yeah. Um, personally, I've noticed that the damage of the battle of uh, the of the MK threes is just a little bit better, and I just like being able to sort between the high explosive and AP. But at the same time, the pilfer ones can do that as well. Um, I had a good feeling, and they're quite strong, and they are more easy to place on a ship. Yeah, I, yeah, I think that I think it's be the, the, the overall the block, thing, the yeah. volume metric size. Mm. I mean, the Northwind ones are a lot harder to deal with because they are, most of them have got deep bases, whereas the Battleship Penguins don't. We yeah, also had... didn't expect... oh. oh, sorry, I have seen people do that with the uh, 300s and the 203s, uh, but yeah, it certainly made the design a bit easier. Go ahead. Yeah, that's right, you can build a much more compact ship around the, the, the Mexpex ones. Yeah, yeah, you can. We also didn't have a lot of time uh, I half made the ship some time ago, and uh, it was about four hours before the deadline, so we all got together, and I just did the best that I could. So there are a few things missing on our primary ships, which is a bit unfortunate, uh, but we'll do the best that we can. <laughs> Well, we had a we had a working team the night before, but you know we, everything got rebuilt uh, within the last uh, five hours. So I think our our final submission was like fifteen minutes from uh, <laughs> fifteen minutes away from uh, the cutoff. That was least, uh, that was that caused me to sweat yeah, a little. Yeah, I can imagine that the day. <laughs> At least the drones were pretty much completed. Yeah, that's true. But, eh, 
Any other questions? Um, any thoughts on uh, changing the parameters on your drones? Um, because I know that the blueprints are locked in, but the custom parameters can be edited before the match starts. Uh, any thoughts? We, on, yeah. Any thoughts on yeah, that we, for turning them into essentially shielded missiles against, uh, shall we say, if you're up against a uh, Spartan? Oh, uh, so. I don't think that we would do that. Uh, the The drones are a much more significant investment than a PMW missile is. It's like 130 points minimum. Yeah. Uh, whereas whereas a PMW, I think, is what 30, 15, something like that. I don't know. Somebody who uses PMWs could probably answer that. Uh, but it, it's nearly an order of magnitude cheaper uh, to fire a PMW than it is to ram with a drone. Uh, oh, no, no so doubt, I, I would, but a, would, a shielded PMW is uh, one hell of a nasty thing. That's true. Uh, but yeah, I, I would much rather have the DPS, uh, to be honest, uh, especially enough. especially against a potato. And drones are good against potatoes particularly. So Yeah, you know, that's also that's, fair enough. Yep, no, that's that's yeah, fine, man. Yeah. I just I just it was a, a question on my mind that I thought, hmm. I wonder yep. if you uh, have this, do... this secret plan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, we do uh, we do uh, retune the drones uh, for every match, depending on what we think our opponents are going to do. Uh, we didn't get a chance to do much testing this time around because, unfortunately, this time around uh, we didn't get to see our uh, our opponents fight our sorry our opponents' ships until mm -hmm. like four hours before we had to fight them of course they've had like the past week to prepare yeah uh, but you know not going to complain because we won but you know it's uh uh you you can tweak it a little bit uh, i'm not going to say what we're going to bring depending on what situation no, but, uh, we definitely we definitely do bring uh we definitely do bring uh different uh config to every match or at least you know when the ships are sufficiently different. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm not surprised to hear that at all, to be honest. Uh, yep. Yeah. Any... I might release all of them after this is all over, but you know, for now we'll keep our secrets. Yep. And, <laughs> that uh, would be a blueprint I would want. Mm. And let's. Uh, any, any final thoughts? Um, and if not, I will uh, ask the next team to come up, uh, which would be uh, Pil Pilfer and Fifth Humanity. Uh, I didn't get to see what was in the box. I wanted Wait, to see. A second. What, uh, the, that? The, the thing in the box was was just a, a basically a Mac with okay, some thrusters. I knew the Mac was in there. It was. It was I, a, I need to go rewatch that. It was a Mac with some thrusters so, uh, and some power attached to it. it um, yeah, re reactors and a few blisters stacked here and there. Yeah. Oh, Don't really know oh. what that strat was. There, it was nothing really. Yeah, I mean, it, did, I, uh, it yeah. did a good job of uh, making me curious. <laughs> like, they definitely have a mystery you, factor with that. <laughs> that. That's like getting a present for Christmas and opening up, and it's a pair of cheap socks. Oh, yeah. Man. yeah. I, I wanted to see. I wanted to see something with a large AWG and just filled to the brim with warheads. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or just like drones spew out of it, you know. Yeah, I think, I think, I think all, all of us were eagerly awaiting what was inside the box, um, only What's to be a little box? disappointed. Um, oh, shoot. Well, I'm still going to go rewatch it, but, you know. It's a good rewatch. <laughs> I was hoping for a shark. <laughs> and some insight here from the biggest grot. I normally ask for socks for Christmas, but that's just me. <laughs> Fair enough, grot. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I was expecting PMWs once that box was opened up. Yeah, yeah, that too. Uh, that was actually something we were concerned with because when we were looking at the uh, the list that uh, Math posted, we noticed that there was like a crap ton of uh, merge blocks in their team. And, so uh, many. What's up? There was so many. It was like over two hundred, right? Yeah, <laughs> and then 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 we we got to see their uh, their thumbnails. We're like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I, know, I know where I know where at least most of those went. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it was uh, it was an interesting, if somewhat disappointing build. <laughs> Next time we demand something more amusing inside the box, even if it's just LCDs with Zox face on or something. 
I mean, my uh, favorite meme box was the chicken box. They need to bring that back. Yeah. Yeah. It really is a shame what happened to the chicken nuggets. Yeah. I was well, excited to see that happen. Don Donnakees didn't like the idea of a script whitelist. He wanted to be able to modify his stuff on the fly. Um, and yeah. Um, maybe maybe uh, we maybe we can category. talk him into to joining for some other stuff at some point in the future. Um, but yeah, I like the chickens. The chickens were fun. <laughs> All right, guys. Do we have? Uh, do we have uh, Pilfit or anyone from Fifth Humanity? Yeah, I'm, I'm here to represent okay. Fifth Squishies floating around here somewhere too. Pilfit is um is not a public speaker, so he's, he's already said it. he's like nah, no 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 public speaking for me. Oh, fair enough. That's a shame. He's a man of mystery. That's a shame. Ah, sorry, man. I can't, I'm I can't wind him up by keeping referring to it as the <laughs> ship is the the the, the Belle Delphine rather than the Bellera from. Um, <laughs> love you, really, Pilfer. Hey, look, you you can pronounce it right first time. How the guests are sitting farther and farther away from. You. Well, I mean, you know, we, it's, we, we, it's, we've it's, got new COVID restrictions here. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, so, we've just been locked down again. We've got the special social distancing couches. Um, one person per couch. <laughs> does, this person count as a, does this person count as a mask? I, I'm not going to lie. I, I, I snuck out and I, I was going to go look at the ships behind you, but I didn't want to bomb your stream. I mean, you, can go, you can go have a look at the, the ships. That's all good. Sp spectator should be enabled. You can, you can just yeah, yeah, spectator is enabled. See, that's, that, that takes the fun out of a little blue man looking around in the background. You, you're welcome to fly around outside, it's not a problem. Um... <laughs> I love that. <laughs> These from it uh, looks like in the Tournament General chat, they did figure out what's wrong with his guns. Oh, well that's a good bit of news, at least. Um... Is it because they're rails? No. Oh. Rails okay. No, oh. No, rails okay. Oh yeah, rail guns okay. Right. Yeah. It's so good when the armor's when the shields are down, ish. But, they're excellent. Except for fixed two fifties, they absolutely suck. Yep. He, I think he, he tried he the fixed two fifties. Actually, he's addressed that one. Yeah. Fixed two fifties used to be so good. I do but, have a question for the team on the seat. When you were uh, fighting with Pilfit, did it seem like his one fifties or one hundred fives were set to repel? Um, a lot of it was really hard to tell how many of his weapons were because we launched the PMW so close. Uh, majority of them got nailed by PDTs and 100 millimeters on flak, from mm -hmm. what I saw. Um, and he did change over the Seawis rounds after the first four or five had launched. Um, and the, the Seawis absolutely ripped them apart. Like I, I saw yeah. at least ten of them get nailed by Seawis fire alone. Yeah. If, if Pilfit has done nothing else. He has absolutely proven my point that there are totally valid defenses against PMWs. And yep. yeah, I knew that that was the case. Yeah, repel mode I've does work. The, the thing with repel mode the is, yeah, <laughs> repel mode does need some work because it is not hard to cheese repel mode into not identifying PMWs. If you make your PMWs out of nine blocks instead of what we're using now with the minimalist ones, repel mode very rarely works. So there, there are some bugs to figure out with it because it is such a new feature and it was only bought in for pmws in yep. starcore really and some complaints in a couple of other servers yep um but yeah so there, there is definitely some work to do i mean when when um when i first used pmws back in the test tournament too um weapon core didn't even recognize kinetic pmws as a threat at all um you know you needed to have a warhead on there or a gun on there for it to even recognize it as a threat so things have come a long way. Um, repel mode is great. Yes, maybe it needs a little work, but um, it's definitely a step in the right direction. Um, so yeah, uh, how do you fancy your chances going forward, guys? We're 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 just looking forward to it. Like we're 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 bringing some meta. We're bringing some tactics. We are bringing the heavier ships. So. Our biggest concerns are primarily heavy hitters with high mobility going um going ahead but aside from that we feel like we've got most situations well in hand yeah no fair enough um will you be partaking in july core uh yeah some of us will i don't know um how many of my other teammates are doing with theirs but yeah i'm definitely playing around with it i've been playing around with uh Aaron stuff for a long time i've been a 
uh, three, four week fanboy seeing her stuff pop up in mm -hmm. the Space Engineers chat and yep. then I started copying and pasting links into Tournament General, getting people hyped. It's like, hey guys, look at these. Yeah, yeah, there's some nice weapons there. Do we happen to know? I um, personally love them. Oh, I, I just need to figure out the point system. Yes, the point system I'm currently work on, working on. I've most of the light weapons, so the point sensor ones are all set up now. Yeah, I nice. Balance, I just need to balance the, um, the cannons and the super weapons are never going to be balanced, so they've all got ridiculously high ones. Yeah, yeah, well, su yeah, balancing was... super weapons is always fun, right? <laughs> yeah, the Atlas is 5,000 BP now. And I take pride in occupying three of the five super weapons we've got. <laughs> uh, don't challenge uh, the Creed that way. Balance... <laughs> best thing is to grab a lump of uh, existing weapons that are kind of similar to well, what will be kind of similar to the new weapon lump of those new weapons and then shoot them against different target damage types and just record the results being like okay we can change these new weapons to have more of this less of this etc cetera, etc cetera. Mm -hmm. yeah we've got the problem at the moment because Lynx added um, two new weapons to his pack he added the Heimdall Gauss Cannon which is a, it's basically my Gauss Cannon on, on a turret and it fires three shots he also changed the Ragnarok, so it has a kinetic penetrator shell that's guided, and an explosive shell. Oh, now great. The explosive shell <laughs> destroys a good five blocks of heavy armor. Youch! <laughs> and, that down. and it fires about every 15 seconds, right? Yep, and it's completely undodgeable if it's using a guiding round. Lie yeah, me. I'll uh, ask him about that one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yep, yep, man, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> Link seems to have taken the role of the heavy weapons expert because he occupies five of the 16 heavy weapons we've got so far. Fifth Humanity, I I have a question for you. What was the biggest hinge moment on your designs, as it were? What, what, what point did you hit with the design of your ships and go, actually, we need to do this? Really, I feel it was more teamwork related than actual the structure of the ship. The ships we've kept are a similar structure as we've started the game. You know, forward facing, frontal assaults, keep keeping the target of that. Uh, the general structure of our weaponry is all been based around, you know, what's doing the most damage, what has the most effective accuracy. Coil guns, are just, they're a must at any point for almost any ship. Really, They do such great range, such great damage to both shields and armor. Um, I feel it was more what really we focused on was our teamwork together and our communication and I feel that is what's probably been the most crucial part to this tournament that most victories are relied upon people being able to communicate with each other yeah I, I would think, I would Derek? also like to bring up a point um, your ships look really good like the colour scheme of the whole thing like like a lot of people, like so how can I put this? So a lot of people's ships look like battleships, right? Like literally battleships, yeah. Or be you a know, big chungus in space. You guys are one of the few teams that's bringing something that looks really sci-fi. Alien. Yeah, alien. Ah, exactly, yes. alien. Yes. And um, well, yeah, I just want to say I appreciate your aesthetic. Yeah, it, it all uh, came from um, Wiseman's particular design ethic. Um, the more we played around with the Fifth yes. Humanity, which is a fictional um, sci-fi race, um, it, it sort of came into his own law where a lot of his ships were named after certain like dark things. Like it, they had a real attachment to the Void, which is again where his color scheme comes into. Like this, this is all all from his own imagination. We simply adopted it. Yeah, we kept. But um, there, there is also there is also a practical aspect to the way um, most of our ships are designed. We're, we're not going to discuss too much about the practical aspects here. Most people that have seen us fight have probably already got a very good idea of why the ships are the shape that they yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just like there there were there were both form and functional uh, design choices that were taken into account with the designs of all of these ships. Yeah, absolutely. It's um. Yeah, you've got to, you know, you, in terms of the shape of the ship for function, you, you've got overlapping fields of fire and so on and so forth, and, you know, di um, directional fields of fire. Um, that all makes complete sense from function. Um, but achieving that while also making it look good, um, 
you know that's that's not to be that's not to be understated you know you, you can have a good looking team that's not very functional you know um and you can have a functional team that's not very good looking but doing both is is difficult and uh Well, uh, yeah, that's why the, the, the aim is just to get noticed, and we think we think we're working on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, pretty that's much. Cool. Me and Links were somewhere between the two on the functional and aesthetic scale. Humanity is willing, well and truly willing to help anyone in terms of functionality and greebling at the same time. We're up for that at any any point if you ever after after anything. And you got you guys are uh, you got you guys are gonna come join big old battles, aren't you? Like, like, yeah, yeah there's, yep. There's been I, I've, I've got a, I've got a few, I've got a few fifth humanity inspired designs, um, already Fantastic. in the, in the works for I big mean, old if, battles. Well, I mean, if you, if you're writing your own sci-fi law, uh, I am, I am all kinds of up for that. Um, you know, uh, when, when you are, uh, after Starcore concludes, the grand tournament concludes, I'll, I'll be back to that. And you know, you guys, uh, let me know the law. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll I'll be reading it out on stream because I'm I'm very very interested in uh, the different sci-fi laws for things going on. We've got a we've got a guy in Big Old Battles at uh, Jet has also come up with his own sci-fi law, um, and uh, yeah, it's been very interesting. Um, people building sci-fi universes have been going. I mean, I, when I started the whole thing, I, the idea was just um, you know it'll be Star Trek versus Star Wars. So that's a 40k you know whatever um but actually it's been very surprising to see people coming along and saying well actually i've, I've got my own sci-fi universe that i've built up um let me let me build the ships for that and and show you those and yeah um yeah and- well I'd, I'd be lying if i didn't say that um yeah my ship was a was a mix between wiseman's starfish design and then um it was heavily influenced by a bit of um mecha tyranid <laughs> yeah, and and it, 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 it just so happened to work out. It just so happened to work out that the shield sphere fit perfectly inside the hooks of my ship, and I was just like, I have to leave my shields on permanently now, mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. to show my snow globe being carried around by this boat. Yep. Yeah, all, the, all the weapons in AWE are from my own um, fictional universe. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, very cool. That's pretty cool. I've been writing for a few years called Present Void. It's been just a little side project. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna have to create a section in my Discord, aren't I, for like sci-fi universes and fantasy universes and stuff, so people can discuss this thing, these things. I think, mm. I think I'm definitely gonna have to do that because I've written a few fantasy universes. Um, never done a sci-fi one, but I've got a couple of fantasy universes I've written, and uh, believe, yeah, believe it yeah. or not, the Reaper is even more overpowered in Present Void than it is in AWE. Yeah. <laughs> believe that yeah <laughs> like it's a planet destroyer so yeah 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 right uh any any final thoughts gentlemen um any any Just thoughts for... say, uh, yeah i have one really appreciate oh, yeah, you go, right. actually joining so that we can we can actually finally go out and see the bell in the gt yeah it was really nice yeah it was I'd like to say, uh, PLS, Con, you better watch it, we're coming. Oh, oh, oh you heard it here, oh. folks. You heard it here. Gotta get through yeah. TLD first. Yeah. Good advice for fighting PLS. Don't yeah, he just thinks he's gonna push... PLD. He's, he's, he's thinking he's gonna push through us. No, y'all ain't uh-huh. tried fish before. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we, we, got, we, we got some real fighting there. talk. You're not the only competition. Like, I don't. I don't know if y'all know this, but our meme ships don't don't perform badly. We we won the <laughs> yeah. before. I, I really want to see them in action. I want to see them. I, I I'm so interested. I I Air saw the design and I now looked at that. I was like, I, and I, and you won as well as well. I was like, wow, you guys are so effective. And your teamwork. I really want to test our teamwork against yours. I think mm-hmm. that will be the most crucial factor. So one thing I pride in our team. So we put together. So I'm I'm really a mainly i'm good at designing stuff and i'm really good at making internal messes inside of ships that are extremely me i'm extremely armored up and making no sense to anybody that looks at it um riddle he is a madman when it comes to 
very effective greebling and internal design as well. He mm -hmm. really helps me out with a lot of that. That's a distinction. That's effective greebling. That's yes. a useful person. Like, yeah. If y'all if y'all looked at his ship, y'all noticed that all of his guns themselves were armored as well. Um, yeah, saw that. Yes. He was yep. the one with the uh, coil guns covered. Yeah, and Otto yeah. Otto is one of the most creative people I've met in Space Engineers. Um, I can come up. So we, 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 we decided on a theme because we did the boats before and, you know, it brought us good success, but we wanted to do something different. And Otto was just like, let's do fish. And we were like, okay. Yeah. And um, uh, Riddle's not good at making meme stuff. Um, and I just didn't want to throw a ship at him. So he just kind of like, I'll just make it kind of flat and call it a mantis. So I'm like, that's fine. And um, Otto threw this blueprint up of this ship with a moving tail after I had been working on my shark and I'm like, Otto, why did you do that to me? Now I look bad. <laughs> I <love laughs> this ship. Dude, my ship is I was so... actually surprised. Um, it, it's funny too, because I designed my ship around a Mac cannon. There is a Mac cannon in there. And um, I'm going to go ahead and throw this out because this is not a... You know, it's not going to affect this tournament because nobody can change their grids at this point. Mac, Mac cannons can definitely shoot through your own blocks without damaging them at their current state. How, how far um, is that? Like, what's the range on that? Is it as many as you like? Or? So, on my ship, I had three. <laughs> is, is it just it the, 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 the projectile? Or, it, well, it's, it's hit scan, isn't it? So... So I'm telling secrets right now, but it's not the only gun that does that. No, I, I can imagine yeah, it's coil, not. Coil guns can still do it too. Coil yeah. guns, rail guns. Um, there's a few others. A bunch of Anything with a fast enough projectile will do it. It's not the speed of the projectile. It's, it's projectiles that are specifically meant to penetrate blocks. Um, if yeah. they have that value in the projectile itself. Your guns have a safety feature on them to where it's not supposed to damage its own grid if it hits. Um, and with that being the case, it'll penetrate these blocks without doing damage, and it doesn't Ooh. affect the bullet as it travels. Interesting. Um, so, but so I mean, the, the same thing the happens Mac with on high power is hit scan, right? So it's not even handled as it's not even handled as a, as a projectile, it's, right? It's quote unquote hit scan it has a speed but it is a very very fast speed that is hit scan it has a limited range i think it can go up to i think it's 25 kilometers before it stops um it may be hit scan i remember when it first came out that it traveled i saw it travel okay um, i got the same speed down to like 0.1 and shot it and watched it move hmm. fair enough uh, um, no, I'm my understanding was that it was hit scan and therefore would, would not be a projectile, would work totally differently. Um, although that being said, from what I understand with weapon core, the lasers are effectively projectiles. So mm, maybe yes. it doesn't work that way. Uh, can I, can I just say, the amount of fucks that Pilfit did not give, was he was flying his ship upside down. Oh, Pilfit's... <laughs> yeah. Pilfit's... Uh, <laughs> Pilf Pil 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 is a meme lord, let's be honest. Um, yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pilf is a good sport I was going to say, well, the so. ship was really fun to go up against. I mean, when I mentioned to Zok earlier about how I was, when I was introduced with, to this game was through my brother playing for Team Deviant, and really it was the whole Star, Star Trek ships going mm -hmm. in, but they had uh, modulated their shields incorrectly and they took a heap of damage on that. I was like, I was looking mm -hmm. at that, like, that's amazing. That was the first time I saw a tournament. Before that, what I saw was Pilfit's ship. And he and my brother was telling me how this is the ship to beat at the moment and so hard to beat. And he showed me the video of Pilfit's ship for the first time when it went up and how it was decimating every other ship and it was taken had to take on several others. Well it was, I, it was I, really I interesting. Rem I, I remember really that up against like my, my celebrity ship. I remember that poor that poor yeah. fight with Armco and um those guys didn't didn't look what damage types were were what and uh they assumed cannon equals kinetic and well those were high explosive rounds and that meant energy and we we can talk all night whether that's 
correct interpretation <laughs> or not. Um, same I... same goes for missiles, but you know. Um, anyways, gents, yeah. any 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 final thoughts going forward? Ah, oh, not particularly. Know. We're just looking forward to the next round. Uh, fighting tomorrow morning. It's going to be really good. It means mm -hmm. we have to get up at uh, like 4 a.m. Oh, so gotcha. Yeah, uh, I bet you do. Yeah, yep, yep. Yeah, this, this would make three days in a row because I get up at 4 a.m. for survival and I got up at 4 a.m. this morning for our fight and to watch the stream yeah. and I'm getting up at 4 a.m. on a Monday on a work day um, to go and do some Space Engineers tournament before I walk downstairs for work. Yeah, uh, to, to, address a, to, to address a point in chat, Arkville, uh, I can assure you that that wasn't the reason I'm co-quit. Um, I don't want to go into the details of it, but that wasn't the reason. Uh, and, to to get it from the horse's mouth, I suggest you ask Wasted in person. Um, but yeah, it wasn't it wasn't yeah, cause, it, wasn't, and... it wasn't because of losing. They were the, the, that wasn't the problem. <laughs> there was there was other issues. Right, that's why. Hopefully, going ahead, we can bring the uh, the other teams back. Like I even John Wackers um, put out interest of coming back in. I, I really hope that. Um, after the the foxhole binge is done that wasted and the other teams can come back in because a, a, a lot of people in here that have been watching star Wars since the start of the year have seen them go head to head and in yep. different battles and it's the 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 design philosophies and the wild things they do definitely bring a lot of attention and it'd be just nice to see them in the grand tournament next time around yeah absolutely I, am. I i agree entirely and uh you know uh wasted jack clockwork you guys are around uh, if, you, if you see this, you're always welcome in big old battles. You know that. <laughs> right. Uh, so, while, while, while I've got people around, uh, thank you, Grot, for uh, pointing this out. Um, so, yeah, upcoming events. We've got July Corps coming up, which is just going to be a little uh, little bit of fun on the side. Um, uh, I I would like to shout out the biggest Grot for all the help with all of this stuff, uh, Mr. Calzone, for all the help with all of this stuff, and my team for being awesome. Um, uh, there will be a new StarCore Discord coming out as of, I believe, tomorrow, although it might be Monday. Um, and uh, yeah, if anybody is streaming StarCore related stuff, get on that Discord, get yourself the streamer role, post yourself up. Um, and uh, yeah, if anybody's got anything they want to plug, or shout out now is the time um and then after that we'll, we'll, go, we'll go on and, and see if we can't work out what the hell's going on with these missiles or maybe have a giant fight if there's a server available <laughs> on the topic of max uh july core is now running all of them wait really yes we've got all, uh... all okay thanks yeah and just a word of warning uh, don't paste the ship you built for star core into july core with a mac because they have different ammo types because we're using the original um, UNSC pack, so it will crash mm -hmm. off and go very similar. Oh yeah. There's a little bit of a problem. The uh, tournament mech uh, mod is completely different from the uh, actual mod. Yes, it is. Yes. Yep. Well, Cannot we, wait for the xylophone of mech cannons. We've yeah. also got um, the Shiva missile, which is the nuke. Oh, good lord. At a lovely 8,000 BP. Ooh, I wonder. I wonder if the um, the fog battleship war spite would be a legitimate ship in um, in July Corps. Someone should make it. Things a legitimate I ship have, at this I, point because there's no it. established meta. <laughs> oh, so, slight this... meta. Um, Links and lifted the limit on Loki. So if you have enough reactors, Loki spam is the meta because holy shit, there's going to be so much. Yeah. Damage. And also, oh, also sp speaking of the fog battleship war spite, Bill Fit. You and me, sometime. Bell versus Fog. Bring it on. I want I want that fight. July Corps tournament gonna be OP weapons and just massive. We're trying to uh We're balancing at the moment. So we both got Oh, that would be wonderful if I could, Velcro. <laughs> oh, any account of balance is going out the window. We saw a post of a ship that was supposed to be for July Corps that had a hundred and forty eight missile launchers on it i'm down for that uh, which that's what i would do uh that might have been twisted ship fire? twisted ship's a meme mm -hmm. oh yeah, yeah. don't 
Oh no, um, Jane, uh, who is the guy who brought the um, Reaper drones to it? So, Drone what... that's muzzled. Yeah, yes. muzzled. We did a test battle a few days ago, and uh, muzzled. Oh, yeah, oh, it was on their stream. Muzzled brought Reaper drones. Now, the Reaper is meant to be a like a Mac equivalent, where it's like if you get hit by it, you are gonna die. And having eight of those <laughs> orbiting you, <laughs> not a fun experience. All right, Fog. Uh, all right, uh, Grot. Do you want to? Uh... Do you want to uh, rotate me out of here, please, buddy? Uh, and we'll wrap up the studio. And uh... yeah, the purpose of uh, this uh, week before July Core is to uh, find which weapons are uh, completely OP and try to rein them in just by sending data to the modders, being like, "Hey, change this, change that," and then hopefully it won't be. I'll be responsible. But yeah, if 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 you find a problem with something. Let someone know, and then yes. we can change numbers around. And Indeed. yeah, more data equals a better player experience. Indeed, it does. For science, folks. I'm going to stick up my BRB screen for a minute. Go make a coffee, um, and then we'll do some experimenting um, with missiles um, and try and work out what the hell is going on with them. Um, yeah, Roger that. Because uh, we shut this down, we might want to do some cleanup. Uh, There's yeah. another battle star behind the studio. Oh, <laughs> oh is that? <laughs> I'll delete it. Night. It's on loan. It's not technically. It's, it's, it's a loner. <laughs> loan it battle star. Is, yes. A rental. If I break, it's it's okay. It's a rental if I break it. <laughs> I'll delete it for you so you can close the thank, Yep, ahead. thank you very much, you everybody. Go. If you want to stick around for some trying to work out what the hell's going on with missiles, uh, I'll be back in about five minutes or so. Uh, in the meantime, uh, have a bag of coffee. <laughs> All right, AFK for five minutes, um, and uh, then uh, yeah, off to uh, off to try and work out what the heck's going on with the missiles. Um, if anybody is interested in uh, helping um, the balance and stuff, do they want to join me and Aaron in Squad 2 maybe so we don't chatter up the screen too much? Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll be here to that soon because um, it's like 3.30 a.m. Oh, do you exactly. have like five minutes or so? Um, yeah, I've got, got exams this week, but I can do it. Sure. Yeah, let's just hop down there real quick. How do you get out of this building? The staircase goes on forever. <laughs> It does not go on forever. There is a lobby. There is a you lobby. You have it drilled, don't you? <laughs> so I mean, if you go back up hole. to the floor that the studio was on, oh, dear on Lord. the other side of the uh, staircase, there's actually an airlock to get outside. I went down like 10 floors already. If you go to the other side, like, okay, if you're on a floor, go across to the other side. There are elevator shafts. You can just fly up to the roof. And there's access outside through the roof. Sweet. This was a big old bear Jammy Dodger production. Brought to you by Twitch and or whatever platform it's on. I can't get through the door. You could We've try pulling the handle. Oh yeah, spectate. I want to go look at the ships. For those interested, Bear Jammy Dodger streams just about every day of the week. Well, just about. A variety of things, including Mech Warrior, XCOM, and a variety of other uh, space engineers and space themed games. Fable's streams are brought to you by Twitch, Discord, in large part thanks to viewers like you. Also know, if anyone like would like to sponsor any of the teams listed here today, please contact them respectively. Also, fun fact. This broadcast, we had doubled our viewers and helped them since last week. Nice. It's 
good to see things gaining traction. It is always appreciated when I the think I may need to bring that up to Biggle. When the participants are given a voice after the sh after the tournaments are done for the day, the people being able to come in and go, "Hey, I had a problem with this, or I liked that, or that was really fun, or that wasn't." Yeah, yeah, yeah it's it's have... really good to get some active feedback. Like it isn't a survey. Like people get to actually yeah talk with their voice. It'll really help. Another refreshing yeah, we're, thing we're is when you have the veterans that are there and they're you know offering advice or different feedback to the new players to the circuit or vice versa with new tips that they found. Yeah. And it's really good. Let your idols become your rivals. <laughs> That's a good way to look at it. Well, that, that was, that was, that was part of, part of what, um, what I was doing in here today has, as Pilfit mentioned earlier is, um, Part of the reason why he was in the tournament was because I've been railing on about the Bellerophon ever since I came here back in February. Because um, watching the Bellerophon take on the Hot Boys and Space Engineers X were the two videos that I first saw that introduced me to Starcore. And then when Zoc put up the, the Discord link in the Twitch one day, I joined in and I've been here ever since. The Hot Boys have been responsible for quite a large amount of the sheer insanity that takes part in the tournaments and just in general with the voice and the, the tournament things in general me and velcro got our start subbing for lou white mesa as the hot boys substitutes for one of those early test tournaments do you have anything to say about those fun early matches there velcro I think he may be away, or not realizing his mic is muted. Uh, I'm gonna go with away. Uh, either way, but yeah, that's there's been a lot of uh, a lot a lot of opportunity on all sides for people to get involved and to start getting involved, start getting experience in a variety of things. I know I was uh, forced to step aside in those early test tournaments due to work scheduling, and then I quit my job. <laughs> I'd just like to point out, uh, I, it may or may not have been me. I'm not sure. I just want to say, uh, there, you got like little floating spaceships around that are flying away. Personally, blame my oh. right driver. Oh. What do you mean by me? I'm dead and I'm not able to respond. Oh no, Grot, our props are floating away. Uh, you have admin. Just. Grab I, don't, I don't know if that was it. Up. So yes, I get, I, I get back to, oh no, our away. props are floating away. Someone may or may <laughs> not totally, have bumped not the micro fault. vipers. Not my fault. Uh-huh. <laughs> mm-hmm. I see how I, it is. I, I blame all right. So I know... Blame me, uh, I never got outside. Have, so we I can know a few people have mentioned that, you know, thank you for building this awesome set, blah, blah, blah. And I got to give a lot of credit to Calzone for that. But I do want to put out an open call. I would like to expand on this by putting like a sci-fi city drop in the background. So if anyone has or plans to make any sci-fi looking structures in Space Engineers, please tag me or tag Biggle on the Steam Workshop with that so we can add it to the background. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, they had drop, the uh, drop us a PM on, on Discord. Thing. Uh, yeah. Drop us an at in my, in the Space Engineers section. On, on my Discord, uh, or Zox Discord, or wherever. It's all good. Um, all right, yeah. It's time for me to drop out. I will see you, gents, later. I have to go yell at my internet company mm -hmm. for tomorrow's match to make sure that I actually get to use my internet tomorrow. Uh -huh. Yep, understood, oh, Mr. Like Carlson. I live in Australia. I live in Alaska. Same difference. Yeah. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> it's, it's a snowy Australia. <laughs> Hey, yeah, uh, it Mr. Is Calzone. Cold Australia. Uh, look nope. into look into Starlink. I just I, got oh, it, and I've had year, zero issues. I've, I've already looked at it. They aren't going here until 2022. Really? Because they said whole country end of year. Really, whole world. Nope. On their site, Alaska will not receive service until 22s. I'm sorry. 
Because it works really well. It's a hundred dollars a month, and I want it so bad. I'm I just did the to tournament that. today on it. No issues. Tell, right. tell us about it. We have businesses in Australia just signing up to Starlink and then showing us 200 megabits a second download, and they're like, "Why would I pay?" For shitty fiber optic internet at 40 megabits when this guy offers me five times as much speed for less money and better reliability. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, driver. Yep, I'm, I'm getting us on it as soon as possible. Yeah, a lot of dinosaur companies are going to get hit in the paybook when they realize people are going to jump to Starlink as soon as it's available. Does anyone have a sincere attachment to the Ursa Minor? Uh, I mean, pretty sincere attachment. Yeah, why? What are you gonna do to it? Big old ticket save. I was gonna save launch now. some M8s at it and see if my PDC, my PD shoot right, it. Alright. So it. What, what I'm gonna do before we do any of that is uh, take a take a save. Um, for yep. Missile tests. Good luck, Rack. I just I just, I just launched some M8 static and with no targets, and the PD didn't shoot at them. So that's why I was gonna just see if it was a weapon core targeting thing. Um, I am 90% sure that these problems are to do with ownership, uh, but let's get on with that missile testing. Yeah. Anybody who wants to test missiles, and, welcome um, to dive in. We can also confirm that they don't always happen. That's the thing. We've seen uh, people firing missiles during the early start of a match. Nice target. And not be shot down by their own PD. Yeah. But when the fighting really starts, like in our match, once the enemy ships came within range, our... PD started shooting our own missiles. There's a transition point that so, we where it starts happening. Right well, one thing that is also, away. yeah, one thing that is also constant is uh, Starcore affects <laughs> mods in weird way, in weird ways, um, and also different server providers also provide different things. So one thing we found is Wiseman's particular server machine that he uses, uh, regardless of whether he's using Torch or the Space Engineer's server manager. His gladiuses have a 25% chance to, one, not show any visual or audio effects, and three, they won't show up in the reload weapon core HUD either when they're heating up. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, and then single player. Shields work totally fine in single player. There is absolutely positively zero jank on shields in single player, but you jump onto any server at all, and you can cover an emitter, and it will work totally fine. Like, we've, we've already had um, someone's pulled a blueprint off the workshop that actually has a covered in emitter. And the thing is, it's a team that doesn't know that that's not allowed, but because they can do it, they just think it's legal. Yep. Kind of thing. So that was that was mentioned to them. So yeah, there, there's, there's definitely some weird things and no one has like the capability or just the time to just go digging through hundreds of thousands of layers of code to try and find what exactly is causing it. Yeah, that's, that's why, hey, yeah, testing in multiple in formats as much as possible is the way to go. Oh, yeah, definitely. So this is local hosted. And let's see uh, what problems occur here. Uh, and then if anybody has a, uh, a daddy that we can use um, for these tests, it would also be appreciated. Um, if you're yeah, interested I've got there. My, my Megatron sitting out here so people people can send whatever they need to that. It, it's covered in... It's covered in point defense. It's covered. It's got heaps of missiles. It's got. It's got all the good. Mm -hmm. All the good stuff. Just, uh, fair question. How do yep. I get this viper to shoot? Because it's amazing. Uh, which viper? Uh, one of the Mark Twos that was sitting out front. Uh, it's just vanilla gas, isn't it? Are they powered down? Well, it says shooting's disabled in safe zone. Ah, oh, shooting, shooting is disabled, disabled in the world. world. I'll fix that. Not all weapons respect that setting, too. Yeah. This and thing is so much fun to fly around. And tools. Uh, no, global permissions. Yeah, also, allow I damage. Allow music stopped a while ago. Mm. Oh, it's working. No, it didn't. We really need small grids. There's music. I can hear the music. OBS thinks it can hear the music. Stream, can you hear music? Oh, okay. It's 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 just very quiet. Okay. Fair enough. I hey, turn it up as compared random. to the current voice inputs. Random bomb thing. Uh, is damage 
It's damage enabled. Uh, you yeah, just I'm, missed I'm the just ship. allowing all the things. There we go. All the things are now allowed. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, somebody's flying the Ursa Minor. Uh, no, I accidentally hit the ship. <laughs> ah, fair enough. Wait, is someone flying it? Because that I, I, I panicked there. <laughs> I ran yeah. into it on accident. No, nah, yeah, someone's flying it. If it's turning like that, um, it's, uh... All right. I came to my spaceship, the troll face. I'm in it warming up. The 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 troll face is wonderful. I I have blatantly just grabbed a blueprint of that. The ship. Gonna have to make that I into don't know a target. Who spawned this in? <laughs> this was actually in Wiseman's server one day. I found it and I just like I, I copied it and I've been spamming it in everyone else's server. Oh yeah, yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> I think it's remarkable. You should see what this thing does in a uh oh atmospheric server. It is ridiculous. Right. BD. Can you t uh, can you uh transfer ownership of the grid that you're in to nobody? Um, and I will uh, I'll get in the Cerberus and do the same. I might need magic rights. Uh, okay. Uh, I mean, honestly, everybody might need magic rights for what we're doing here. So uh, promote all the people. Hey, my lasers are firing at something. Alrighty. Right, and uh, BD, we need to be we need to be on the same team. So, um, yep, cool. You're in hosts. That's fine. And oh, hey, uh, so Sarah, did you did you want to see the original design of what the Olympus was made off of? It, I, I don't know if you guys caught it, but the team that I'm on is friendly to the neutrals that were shooting missiles, and AMS is targeting those. Mm hmm Right, so now we have we have two ships next to each other, or within, certainly within range of each other. Um, we need uh, an enemy target, I'm guessing. So I want to see if the, the anti-missile systems on the Cerberus, which it does have some, uh, will shoot down the missiles coming from the Ursa Minor. So let me go over here and paste in a target. And we'll go with uh, your heavy target. And then, uh, uh have we got, yeah, we can just make it space pirates. That should be fine. Oh yeah, all the boom. Uh, yeah, I didn't think this through, did I? Yeah, the uh, Cerberus is shooting at it. Yep, uh, as I said, I didn't think this through. Alright, so, uh, this big ship over oh, here, sure. can we can we depower it for now? Um, it's the one I'm looking at. Yeah, cool. Um, and I will turn off the other guns on the Cerberus. Just want the point defense on. Okay, I'll hop out. So, off, off, and off. So, just the PDs on on the uh, on the Cerberus now. Same uh, 
And then uh, let's paste in the target. Uh, the ship in the background, can you depower it, please? While we just do these tests. I am Thank you. Trying okay. to find a control panel. You know what? It's gone. Transfer to <laughs> space. Solution. Yep, nice, easy solution. Forgot that it was everything was set to just keep firing, and I can't remember where these is. Oh, shooting grids, fair enough, with the PD. Okay. Right, and then BD, if you want to shoot your missiles at that target. Oh dear. Who's pasting and a bunch of random stuff? That was me on accident. My apologies. Uh, it's the ship slowly spawning in. I'm trying to wait for it to fully spawn in so I can delete it. I spawned that a while ago. So I can't pick that target or pick that drone as a uh, target through weapon core. Um. The missile's on. Okay, now that stuff is clearing out of the world, yeah, I can. Okay, just went for being slow. Firing. Uh, those missiles are just firing off into space, randomly. I've got the target selected. Let me check their settings. I'm going to sit at the target and... Oh, wait. Yeah. Excellent. We already have somebody sitting at the target. Cheers, mate. Um, Weapon Corps <laughs> doesn't like space pirates, yes? Yeah. That might yeah, yeah. be the issue. Um, but... Yeah, they're not acquiring targets. They're not. Let me change it to click the fire. Yep. I, for some reason, can now target the Mark Viper Mark II. Nope. And heavy target is now on the list. Say what? Uh, just my own game. There we go. Uh, so I just want to point out. You had them focused on subsystem utility. And that thing has no utilities. Yeah, if you're focusing something and there's a subsystem on that focus, it may be possible that there's a bug somewhere causing you to not target it because it can't recognize a subsystem of that type. That could be a bug. Normally, it's supposed to just automatically go into firing at anything impossible related to the enemy block. But there should always be a cockpit on a, on a grid, case, right? Yeah, and so normally that counts as utility, so it'll target that. All and right, when so that's done, that's normally when it stops firing. So they're all but tracking if, now. If that's the bug. If I do shoot on or click to fire, they seem to be tracking it. Okay. I mean, you could try testing it with the subsystems thing, see if the subsystem bug. If it's not, then I really, I, I'll just need to have a little look at it. Mm -hmm. Very recent update. Because I know we had an, we had a problem with the uh, mod that updated for relative movement speed, and so the previous tournament we had we were all flying like halfway through the tournament at sixty mi minute uh, meters, sorry, mm -hmm. per second. Okay, I think there's a certain angle from the launcher, and that's what um, oh I forget who it was kind of warned us about. So when I'm more than ninety degrees out, they just don't even try. Okay. Interesting. Oh, they, uh, they so won't track not... now. That's just armor. That target, oh, okay. that target's no longer a threat. So they're not tracking because it's no longer considered a threat. Can um, we just turn off damage so that we can just can you hit the away? Viper? <laughs> Firing oh. on Viper now. Or Viper. I got it on target subsystems and your subsystems are focused to offense. If it still hits, then there's no subsystem bug. 
Ooh, those missiles did not target Viper. Yeah, I've got the Viper pickled right now and nothing. Uh, they're probably not. Oh man, am I coming through okay on Discord now? Yeah, yep. you're fine, yeah. Alright, I'll uh, paste in a fresh yeah. target. No change on targeting, about to do a click to fire. Do a shield target this time. Might last a bit longer. Oh crap. Oh god, I thought that was your idea. And th this thing, this shield target has a cockpit, by the way, and a shield generator, and, you know, obviously shield generator. I have the, uh,. But is it set to enemy, Colonel? What is it? No, no, it's not. That would be a thing, yes. The Ursa Minor has its focused subsystems on with focusing offense, offense as well. So, they should still hit. Right, that's uh, transferred through to uh, Space Pirates. So, that should now be a valid target. and shoot on. Interesting. And it's true. Um, the vanilla turrets, or the vanilla Gatling, completely bypasses shields. Yeah. Yeah, it does. So does the handheld weapon. It just doesn't recognize it. It's, yeah. So that's using shoot on, yeah? So shoot on's not a problem. Yeah, and that last volley was uh, click to fire. So no issues there. Okay. I think we were having subsystem issues, maybe. But I do have um, target, focus specified target on. Oh, those missiles are gorgeous. I loved how they added that. That's saturation mode. Oh goodness, don't fly a fighter through that. <laughs> it's gone. Bye bye little target. Yeah, that makes rubbish apparently. Terrible. <laughs> They must have changed something in targeting. Um. In so, just so B BD, um, can you? So, the, your ship's set to nobody, right? Right. Yep. And I'll go set the Cerberus to nobody as well. Um. This must be a dedicated server bug in that case. All right, fire again. All right, you need to target again, don't you? There it goes. Well, it's yeah, ownership. There you go. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the problem. Ships being owned by nobody is what's causing this issue. So we will absolutely need to transfer control of each ship to the relevant person, player. to each player on the day. Yeah, so um, what did you have it set up on? Like when you went and did that for your team, did you just set them all to nobody so they could just access it? I, I think when the, the bot pasted them in, it pasted them in as nobody. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because our, our ships get posted in under Wiseman's control and then he's the only one that can go and change all of the settings around. Like we can get in the cockpits, but and we can fly, but we don't have access to anything until he goes and transfers it all to each individual player. Oh, so despite, crap. Despite the fact that me and BD are on the same team, the grid that we're in, being nobody, means that the... Uh, 
All right, BD, do me a favor. Take control of your vessel, please. I am. Gotcha, one second. Ownership change to me. Hey, they're still shooting them. Still shooting them. All right. And uh, this one, ownership change to me. And no more hitting. All right, folks. What do you think? We might have worked out what the problem is. Yes, but why would that only kick yeah, in thanks, as Grot. soon as combat began? Um, good question. Because at the start of our battle, Talia was firing off the missiles from the missile boat. None of our defenses were firing on the missile sea. There. All right. Uh, BD, transfer your ship to me. Oh, are they firing at the Mi Viper? That they were firing out. at the Viper. Never mind. I'm, I'm gone. Ownership changed to Biggle. So you can't outrun missiles in a Viper. Changing ownership to Bear. Ownership changed to Bear. Yep, not shooting them down now. Right, so I think I think that the, there is a, an ownership issue. Uh, does anybody have a dedicated server we can test this on? The Starcore test tournament server should still be up. Um, I do believe. I thought they were using Canada for the for the, the tournament. Invalid might have put it up. We can check it out. Oh, Give me a sec, I'll go and see. Come on. Discord can eat me. Um, Carnival server should be up. Wiseman server should have Starcall loaded up right now as well. Um, and Canada might be up too. Ooh. Uh, can I get an IP address? Just a minute, and it should be in. The yes, sir. Room. Coming up. Awesome. Thank Other you. Other test servers. There we go. Copy. Select the bear. Sending Karn server. Awesome. And then back over. And. And, and um. In Starcore chat is on your server is Wiseman's um, IP as well. Cool. Uh, well, uh, let's uh, try this one first, I guess. Um, all right, bring in this world down, folks. What was that? <laughs> Monitor versus three battle stars. I admit that would be an interesting battle. I would say the weapon core is acting funny because I wasn't getting any of the shells rendered. No, uh, apparently Carnivore has no password. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> hey, old Lord Zex. Only question is, will I have will I have admin permissions? Uh, paste stuff we in. No, we're um, we're trying to work out what the hell's going on with the bug, so that we uh, we can respond appro appropriately, and so can everybody else. Uh. Yep, join admin. So one in a spacesuit. Presented itself, 
All right, well, I'm going to go have a break for a little bit because I've been up since 4 a.m. It is now 1 p.m. and I am yet to have breakfast. I'm going to go and have something to eat. <laughs> Sounds like I'll a let Bear handle that explanation for a second. As good we good job resting. today. Yep. Oh, yeah. Thanks for everyone turning up and thanks for all the patience. Absolutely. Tomorrow will be fine. We, don't, we still don't know what time we're playing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that, that, that'll get worked out. I'll be fun to do whatever time because I'm. It, it's going to be really funny because I'm probably also going to be subbing for Spartan as well. Oh, boy. that's that's why I just get up, get up at four and just participate wherever I'm needed. All right. Well, cool. later. So again, Bear, what new bug has presented itself then? Um, mm, well, if you remember from uh, last week, our point defense was shooting down our own missiles. Uh, yes. Trying to work out what the hell's going on with that, basically. But that didn't happen until, like, halfway through the match they started out. I, mean, I know, I know. I'm, it's a bit of a shot in the dark, mate, but if I can, if I can at least minimize the problem, um, you know... So you're going to spawn in test ships that don't fire back? <laughs> uh, I've got a test target for that. Oh. So we're going for the uh, Karn server, yes? Yeah. I transfer this to nobody. Uh, thank you, Carnivore. And transfer that to nobody. Turn those guns off. Transfer that to Space Pirates, if I can. Yep. Target. So yeah, same behavior on a daddy. Oh damn. Yeah, that's not good. Well, this is this is with the ships transferred to nobody. So even though the pilots are appropriate.
Ah. AI, computer is not owned. Take ownership of grid weapons. Current owner ID is zero. Okay. I'm I'm owned. Cass has owned weapons, pasted by me. Everything's default owned by me. And okay. still That's shooting me. at the missiles you're firing. Yeah, because mine are unowned. Yep. All right, let's see what it does now. So yeah, the Cerberus Ooh. is unowned. And that is um that is shooting down our Not firing is a good time. Mm -hmm. So we got teammate, unowned, and personal. And so it would seem that the unowned one is the only one that's actually shooting, like targeting that player's point defense. Mr. Calzone, can you do me a favor? Can you go dive in the cockpit of the Cerberus? Will do. The brave and the bold. It takes a brave man to board a ship with confirmed Cylons on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we I'm were we were Mr. screaming. Peter. Cool. Let's see if it still continues to shoot down now that you're on board. Yup, there it goes. Yep. Right, do you want to take ownership of that grid, Mr. Calzone? I would I believe it should stop immediately. All me. Come on, click. There we go. Yes. Confirm. Set over to me. Cerberus shield is reinitializing. Reinitializing. Checking line of sight. Okay, we'll give it a sec for the ship to fire again. But you were still targeting that. Um, but it may have just been a delay thing. Just a delay thing. Okay. Disco balls are confirmed owned by me, owner me. Yep. And are not firing on same allied missiles. That green. Yep. Now, could it be a bug in weapon core when enough missiles or weapons are getting fired at a time that it, missiles are it losing could be. tags? It could be. Well, we've got our discos set to target neutrals off as a point. And they're still targeting them. Double check that uh, that's the case on, on, on there as well for me, but... Discos. Neutrals is set to off. Yep. So that's just a straight up bug, as far as I can tell in that case. It's unowned, it's definitely neutral. And while they're not, you know, they might not be targeting those grids, but they're intercepting neutral missiles. Uh, that seems like a bug to me. Maybe spawning some more ships to see if you can out the anti. See if you get the same result. Because the weapon call mod didn't have many more vessels in. I will admit, the few little practice I have been doing with the cast, I've really been falling in love with the little ship. I love it. I've been loving her. Again, that thing's more of a gun style than a battle style. Mm -hmm. That yeah. it is. Um... <laughs> I had a look at the ex uh, oh, so I had a look at the experimental um, Imperial and yeah. I think I saw some torpedo launches. Thank you, Sprinkles. In the pile. Not missile launches. We're talking fixed torps instead of the, just the normal artillery cannon.
so what did Sprinkle say? Ah, uh, Sprinkles is just passing me some information about our uh, upcoming battle. Ooh. Interesting. Sneaky. I'm gonna have to download the Bud Cows and explain it. No, my world is my uh, server hosting has been flat out down for a while now because of internet. It's good to look pop on and do some work, but it's like, ah, oh, seven now. Time to play with the bill. <laughs> yeah. Only a couple more days and my data cap will be up. It doesn't mean how much when your internet speed is completely garbage. <laughs> well. You can have as much data as you want, but if you can't get through the cable, you're kind of out of luck. Well, I found out that uh, hang on, I'm hang being on. speed capped when I'm out of data. So the last few days of every month, my internet turns into absolute trash because I don't have the $200 a month unlimited data. That is just horrific, man. $200 a month. What the hell? Well, it's like 175 something. And it's like, no, stop. Don't don't fuck with me. That's two hundred dollars a month. Here, mine's sixty, and I've got two hundred bloody rig download, a TV package, and a phone. Yeah. All right, who's that? Uh, I, 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 well, yeah, I, I paid forty five quid and moan about that, especially considering it was twenty five when I signed up. Well, about yeah. five years ago. What the hell, Virgin? Um. Yeah, we're all good. Support text tell me at least you're not in one of the villages where you're paying like two hundred dollars a month for a couple of megs up and mm -hmm. down. Exactly. Most of the main. All right, guys. So um, important, important one, important point answered. The um, when your missiles are just firing and not tracking, or any of your guns are firing and not tracking, the. Um, This is the reason why. So, I go and set to target subsystems, and I picked a subsystem that the target no longer had. So the guns were just, the missiles were just off into space, basically. So if that happens, uh, you need to change them to subsystem any, or a different subsystem. Um, Cockpits are, I believe, utility. Um, control seats are apparently nothing. So, if you're targeting utility in the hope of getting somebody's cockpits and they have control seats rather than cockpits, and this is happening, or your guns aren't firing, change to power or offense. Um... that's going to reduce the cockpit sniping then. <laughs> uh, absolutely going to reduce the cockpit sniping, yeah, but if, pe if people are using control seats, then uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. That's such a better idea, to be honest. Some of the matches in Weapon Core have gone a little short because they've cockpit sniped. Yeah. Well, decoys are 10 points. Just saying. Holy crap. Bye. Bye, target. That makes a garbage, apparently. Oof. I mean, Kod are probably ball. right, you know. I just like them. I like my missiles, what can I say? Do the missiles still have the thing of going through shields? Uh, they have a blast radius. And any weapon with a blast radius... If your shield is too close to your hull, the blast radius will go through the shield. That's true for every weapon. So if you're putting your shield entirely too close to your hull, um, then uh, th that is that is a problem. Oh, Battlestone Broadside. Oh, it is pretty, but not on the receiving end. 
<laughs> Let me get the sport in here. <laughs> no, no, just me. Oh, I know why it's not working. I'm setting the first one to enemy and recopying it, and then it starts shooting at it. I don't have copy original ownership on, so they set back to me. So mm -hmm. it's all me again. Da -da. So, question for chat. Bower, uh, Battle Stars and Gunstar. Which is your favourite and why? They're all different. More different than you might think as well. Copy operation successful. Is it Cal's own current ship got better prototype potential? It's actually got better face-on potential, because if I nose down towards my enemy, all of my weapons can fire at them. If I broadside, the spinal and that broadside's weapons can fire. And that was the idea, to keep the weapons on one side, and then roll to take any... Mm-hmm. Uh, take any hit. Damage, yeah. Oh, and uh, let's uh, let's just do this uh, for, for a laugh while uh, we've got the opportunity to show it off. Uh, let's see. That will do as a target. Are there some metal stars here that aren't yours? Oh, dear. Now, these four are ours. Yeah, there's one of each here. Oh, bit of a dent. Ooh. Yep. That actually really didn't do much on that round. <laughs> no, not at all. Because you got welders in the front, I take it. Oh, dead, what? Dead engineers. Where are the dead engineers at? They're all gone. Maybe Carnivore doesn't have the DLC? Me? No, no dead engineers here, are What the hell? You know, I saw some in the, uh, in that list that he the yeah. table for weapon craft ah, or I know what happened. Mm hmm. They got added to the list of banned blocks to be removed on paste. But they were in it, Leah. We, saw, we saw some. Yes. Added sense. Ah. And Carnival's probably more up to date on that. Okay. Shame. Damn it. What, 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 why? Why remove the dead engineers? It's hilarious. They're, they're additional block paint that you don't need. They're there for shit that you don't Yes. True. Also armor. Also non-deformable block. <laughs> so you're going to go with the Reaver tactic of covering your ship with dead engineers? Yes. Yes, let's have boarding parties. <laughs> Well, yeah, if you fly like you do at points, then engineers well, might happen. <laughs> yeah. I guess I have no choice but to become a Cylon. Yeah. I have seen that. So, as far as we can tell, it's an, the, the thing with the missiles was an ownership issue. Basically. Um, so all I can suggest we do uh, when we get on is we take ownership. We, you know, we, we we demand admin give us ownership of our grids to avoid these issues. Yeah, 
there's any admins about watching um if you've got any anything to say on these matters you, you please feel free to pipe up um ah it's this doing is, it now did yeah. it watch what look the cast what? and the bear are shooting at bd's missiles yeah i'm i'm neutral i we're just mucking around right now yep Oh, okay. I was like, wait, 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 wait. Did we just yep. see what we were hoping to see? No, yeah, we're, it's we're, it's we're when you producing the same error. Yeah. It's when when one of the grids is neutral, is when it happens. Um. Yeah, I just jumped out of faction. Okay. Which they shouldn't be neutral. Uh, like it doesn't matter if the pilot's friendly. It's the grid that matters. So if the grid is owned by a neutral faction. Such as nobody or the Starcore bot, um, then that is the problem. Cool. Well, shall we uh, shall we clear up poor old Carnivore's server and uh, not set fire to it? It does, yeah. What the hell did you guys do to make the server crash? All the boom. All the boom from the gas. How many guns did you stick on that back? I've got a lot. Yeah. Yes, yeah, the, 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 yeah, the, the, the gas is, the gas brings all the cannons to the, to the yard. Um. It was deliberately a all conventional gun, but except a couple of little railguns. Yeah. Don't yeah, railguns exist now? They're conventional weapons. Chemically propelled weapons. So yeah, we got the uh, got the Ursa Minor, which is coil guns and and uh, M8s. We've got the. The Cassiopeia, which is cannons. And we got the Cerberus, which is cannons and tigers. And uh, we've got the Artemis, which is uh, basically a missile boat. And Grimlocks and torpedoes and that kind of thing. That would be a good Randy boat. So we can always see your cockpit. <laughs> now I'm in the other one flying around, not the one that's sit there being the enemy. <laughs> no, we still probably see your pocket. We're in total that battle star is Okay, a lot. Now, that was one thing that uh, I've had a couple of other teams in the interviews confirm for me, is that you can get out of your cockpit and run around and weld things. Oh yeah, you can. But uh, that, that's a heck of a choice, to stop flying your ship, get out and go weld things. I could see that being part of the advantage of having multi-crew, but flying, piloting yourself, that's a big risk. Yeah, it is. It because really your ship is. Leave you behind, you could bug out and get left left through the hole and end up chasing your own ship across the battlefield. I believe that's what some of the Mortal Crew ships have been doing, but they have to get paid to Yeah. There was one confirmed instance of a guy Iron Man to grind the enemy ships. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Is that before or after they lost there? <laughs> Uh, I'm not 100% sure, uh, but it happened last weekend. It was one of the things I was thinking about doing when my ship was going down. I was very certain that I was going to hop out and go be on someone else's ship doing repairs. And I'm surprised nobody's filled the pontoon to miss it. Just to come out of the way. It wasn't a thought at the time, I don't think. But we can't change the designs now anyway, so nope. it's kind of a, eh, oh well. No, nope, we've got what we've got. Done is done. Oh, you can put a control seat in there. Definitely taking a pounding. Oh. Oh.
Definitely taking a pounding. Really wanted to make a joke that is why I was still alive there. right at the end of the Mm-hmm. As long as I could as long as I could try and protect my weapons from fire and keep rotating to shield them using other parts of the ship. Yep. Who cares how the other side looks? Oh, it's fine. It's drawing fire, it's doing its mission. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. I like how the thrust of their firing station keeping after the impacts. Mm hmm. Get to the other side. <laughs> nope. Oh, these 300s are firing. Why aren't they firing? They actually have that limit. Just that much of a limited firing mark? Um, on my screen, they look pretty banged up. The rear one. Oh, the ones. rear one. Yeah. Is it because I wasn't targeting? It's because no, I it's wasn't it's on... targeting anymore. It's because it's on fire. He's talking about the two on the back. Mm. They are now, because I started targeting. Ah. And check your little guns and see if they're on flat, because it seems like they're trying to hit a turret, but it's blowing up short. I think your hundreds uh, are on flat. I'll get back in the cockpit again. That entry way is all kind of banged up. Changing weapon types on weapons. The central core of that ship is still intact. Although virtually nothing Set else Set to flak is. now. I've changed <laughs> all the weapon types. Well, now we don't have a target. Nah, it's kind of missing engine pods. Does it no longer have utility, which is what, by default, the weapons are set to target? Probably, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that you know... change them to any. And, uh... Um, yes, uh... Okay, so are you in the discuss with, with, with you, gentlemen, off, off stream, what I, I think we should be targeting. Which is con tomorrow. Um... Uh -huh. uh, not gonna mention that on stream <laughs> all good need all the help we can get <laughs> all right we'll scratch off the uh, kamikaze all four ships into one in the end it was actually fairly easy to counter because i just took those ram attempts in the shoulders and let it mm -hmm. roll off me still I think they did more damage to themselves when their little ship accidentally rammed it and knocked part of the wing off. Well, uh, that wasn't an accidental ram in any way, shape, or form. That was a deliberate aim at a battle star. I'm talking about the later one of their own crewmates uh, nicked off part of their wing. There really isn't much of that wreckage left, is there? Nope. It's, it's a shell being propelled into deep space, is it not? Shame about the dead engineer has not been a thing. Ah, I noticed the, uh... I don't know if that's the Ursa firing missiles, but they just got knocked with the wilderness. They're no longer tracking. Because there's no target left alive yeah. to track. Yeah. Yeah. So I think this thing is only being targeted by the virtue of it having gyros left on it. Or something. This is done with the target, the gyros. I think I think gyros also count as thrust somehow. Steering, oh, I believe. Ah. 
So any is still letting it target this, even mm -hmm. though it's unpowered. Oof. A wee bit. Ah, still alive. Yeah, this is set to any subsystem. <laughs> the whole so the form getting out of there was hard. Right, well, gents, uh, I think we've done about as much as we can for trying to work out what the hell would go on with the uh, with the ownership thing. I guess we're just going to have to ask very nicely for uh, to make sure that the relevant people own the relevant ships and cross our fingers. Um, which isn't too much of an ask. It's really not Which too much of an ask. Place, yeah. yeah. Let's uh, let's try and at least clean up our record, shall we? Oh no, I don't have admin menu. Of course, I don't. Uh, Server cleanup should be on, so anything unpowered should eventually be removed, anyways. Fair enough. Let's uh, let's clear what grids we can, regardless. And uh, thank you, Carnivore, for being an excellent human being. Ah. Uh. Ooh. Grid is not owned is by weird. your faction. Okay. Was the server still unowned? Transfer to me. Nope. But she stopped firing. But do nobody. All right. Uh, well, sorry, Carnivore, to leave our trash here, but I'm not allowed to clean it up. <laughs> uh, can Does probably server is telling us depower no. it though, and then yeah, it should. It. Right, yeah, depowering it should clean. So yeah, just depower your grids and the cleanup should get them, guys. Yeah, BD's in that one. One final small explosion. <laughs> Hello, random bit of armor. More heads and detonated ourselves. <laughs> well, bear, I don't think that has power. <laughs> no, I think we're. I think I think we'll just have to cross our fingers and hope that the cleanup does it. Uh, sorry, carnivore. Didn't want to leave trash, but you know. Uh, Game, game says no. Nonsense, we don't have to leave trash. I'm sure when they start the game, the freaking the grid outside will take The ship is now covered in warheads. Commence salvage detonation. <laughs> uh, Calzone. Ship breaker does give you charges. Yes, thermonuclear device is a little bit more effective. Ow. Yeah, it's depowered. So yeah, the cleanup should get the ones that are depowered anyway. At least it doesn't. We'll detonate uh, this one as well. Oh, I just stuck some all over the hole too. I see Calzone oh, a bunch down the middle. <laughs> Our Moorhead start countdown. Countdown has started. Ooh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. And um, for people that don't think warheads are worth it, folks, uh, yeah. Never, ever underestimate warheads. That was a line of warheads, and the core is still mostly intact. Yeah, but nothing in it is. No. Uh, 
No, there's a couple of these reactors that are. Hey, cockpit's alive. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, rather exposed, but alive. Wow, well, you might have actually survived that if you're inside. Holy crap. Let's go for round two. This is our um, detachable PMW hull. Uh, <laughs> lovely jubbly. It is uh, four thirty-nine. Should I call it a night, <laughs> or? Do I stream a little bit of something else? Stompy, stompy, time time. Stompy, stompy, fun time. You down for some Mr. Cow 